What is up, folks? Thank you for joining me this fine uh, Tuesday evening. Uh, waiting on my guest here. Uh, put you know, gave him the information and stuff to to get in here. So hopefully, uh, it won't be too long before we have him here. But I, I appreciate you all joining me. See a lot of people in the chat. Some new people. See some some of the uh, the usual round of suspects. Either way, appreciate everyone uh, that's joining. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, if you have interest in what I do here or will have interest once you see the stream, you know, be free, uh, you know, feel free to subscribe there. Um, but, um, yeah, I see a couple, couple of, couple of the, um, uh, the usual suspects here. Let's see, who do we have? We have, uh, Daniel Romano. How you doing, buddy? Uh, who else we have here? My, my boy, James Griffiths, gotcha son is in the chat. Baca Fred, Erlim, uh, and I'm sure a few others will be joining here. But uh, in the meantime, I guess, um, I guess while we wait, um, we could just have a, a little discussion here amongst ourselves. I'm sure many of you have uh, have seen what's been happening, right? And 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 for those of you that are subbed here to the channel, you know you know what I've what I've done uh, as far as the streams are concerned and talking about uh, the situation. So you know, it's been. Uh, it's been interesting to say the least. It's been, uh, you know, it's one of those things. It's been been somewhat entertaining at times, but um, yeah, it's uh, it, what what I'm hoping to do tonight. Like I said, is just you know maybe see if uh, there's any way to have kind of a re resolution to what's been going on here. Um, you know, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what's what's going to happen here, but. Um, Ted had mentioned that he had wanted to come on the stream after he had seen that I was on with Scott and with Brandon. So in the best interest of, you know, giving him his fair shake too, right. Getting his side, so to speak, even though I know a lot of, uh, a lot of what he has said uh, and probably a lot of what he will say here tonight, stuff that people have already heard on his lives. But I guess in order to get more of his side out there, I mean, um, you know, and give, like I said, give him a fair shake. Um, I reached out to him. I said, all right, well, you had mentioned about wanting to come on and be able to talk. And like I said, in the interest of fairness, you know, maybe that's the right thing to do, but we'll see what ends up happening here. I, I can't say one way or the other. I, I really don't know what to expect. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens here. Like I said, um, hopefully we can make some headway here because I know this is something that a lot of people, I know this disappointed a lot of people. Some of the things that were said on those lives and some of the ways, you know, some, some of the interactions that fans have had. But like I said, um, maybe, just maybe, there's a way to, um, you know, bridge some of these gaps and see if, um, you know, like I said, see if there's any, any kind of positive end to any of this. So, um, like I said, it's just, still just waiting here. Hopefully it won't be too much longer. Um, Ted, I don't think is is uh, too too tech savvy when it comes to certain things here. Uh, that's not a knock, of course. It's just, uh, you know, I don't think he's ever been on uh, a live stream it, it like this. Anyways, I don't think he's ever used Streamyards or anything like that, which is what I use here. So hopefully, I, I sent him instructions on how to get in here. I sent him the link with some detailed instructions. So shouldn't be too difficult, but if worst case, if worst comes to worst and he's having some difficulties trying to get in through the stream yard, then um, I guess we could do it phone. We could try to do it phone to, to Mike. If, 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 if need be, hopefully we won't, we won't have to go that far, <clears throat> you know, because I want the sound quality to come through as best as possible. So hopefully he'll be able to connect. So, but I guess while we're waiting, I, I guess I could answer some questions in the chat because I see some people asking some questions already. I see Baka Fred saying, uh, what is your opinion on the Cosmic Fury suit? I think that it is, uh, I think it's hideous. <laughs> I don't like it. I think the suits are, uh, I, I, I don't like the design choice of the suits. I think, uh, bleh. you know what I mean? But to each their own. I know some people, I've seen that some people, it, some people like them a lot. I, I don't care for them. I, I really wish that they would have just stuck to using the, the Super Sentai suit designs. That's just me. But, um, you know, hey, look, 
Hasbro can do what Hasbro wants to do. You know, they are the ones that are in control of the franchise now. So they can do what they want to do uh, in regards to those types of decision, right? So we'll see what's what's going to happen here in future seasons, how the suits are going to look for those. Uh, but the, the, these ones, yeah, don't, don't really care for them. Don't really care for them. So... Uh, somebody in chat says, uh, Chris and Reinhardt said he's on Instagram posting. You mean Ted? Ted is on Instagram posting? Uh, let me see. Let me see what's going on here. Trying to get on. Okay. Okay, He's. you just messaged me. All right, he is, all right, he's having, all right, I'm going to send him the the link. He's going to get on through his phone, and I'm going to give him some instructions here on how to get on real quick. So just bear with me, folks. Uh, okay, just bear with me, folks. I'm trying to get him in here. All right, he's going to get on through his phone, so... This will be able, he'll probably show up on video and stuff like that. So I'm sending him the link right now so that he can just get on through his phone. I think that might be easier for him uh, to just do it through his phone. So we're just going to have him come in through his phone here. Let's see. All right, let me. All right, here we go. And link is sent. So now we just wait. Now we just wait and see if he's able to get in here. All right. So. All right. So here we go. Let's see. We're just waiting on him now. So, wow, we got 111 people in the chat. Thank you all so much for joining. Oh, BrolyCon, what's up, Bowsette? Got a couple more of the usual suspects heading in here. All right, cool, cool, cool. I okay, said, so now we're just waiting. I sent him the link. Now we're just waiting. We're just waiting to, for him to pop in here. So, all right, here we go. I think Ted is in. Here we go. Hey, Ted. Hey, how you doing, how John? I'm What's doing all right. I, just waiting. Sorry, Thank I'm you. a little late. I had a tough That's time all... getting on. Sorry about that. That's all right. That's all right. I appreciate you taking the time to join us here. Uh, we got actually hey. 116 people here. Yeah, there's a lot of interest going on here with what's going on. I I, I, I understand that. Yeah, so... um. So first and foremost, just a little bit of uh, we'll, we'll do a little I bit. I can't of, see uh, you. I don't get to. I don't get to see you, John. Oh no! Is it just oh, unfortunately, me? my camera does not work. But uh, you know, you you can see me if you look on my channel. I've done a lot of videos on camera. Unfortunately, my camera's not working right now. Couldn't get it. Can to I work just say? Screen. Can I say one thing before we start? Sure, go ahead. I just want to thank you for our conversation uh, yesterday. Um, I um I enjoyed a lot of what you said, and um. I'm going to try best to use the advice you gave me moving forward. And I appreciate All right. it. All right. Yeah, no problem. I, I, I appreciate you taking the time. I know we had a little bit of ups and downs on our call and stuff, but I think all in all, I think it went well. And I think we, we found uh, 
I, I, I want to believe we found more common ground than anything else. So uh, even if we had our disagreements. So, um, you know, just a, a little bit of background. And I had told Ted this too, you know, I obviously had done my streams and stuff before. So he's aware of the things I said. So hopefully, you know, moving forward here, we'll, we could have it be a, a nice civil discussion. Um, and, uh, you know, what we can do is, you know, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about all that's happened. Um, there are some people that have, that are going to probably, we'll leave the questions more towards the end, Ted, if that's all right from the fans. Because I know there's fans that want to ask you questions. If you're okay with that, we can leave that towards the end. For as long as I get to, I have about, just so you know, John, um, I know you guys spent about three hours uh, talking about me. Um, and it wasn't pleasant. Uh, I do have about six pages that I'd like to share. If okay. that's okay. At some point. I mean, yeah. We'll get through. Yeah, we'll get through as much as as we can of of uh, of whatever it is you want to discuss. Um, and, and like I said, you know, if, if you're all right with taking questions, there are some people that, that are probably asked some questions in the chat. Uh, no problem. For a little bit no before problem. we end up closing out the stream. Um, but uh, also, you know, there's gonna there's been people that have sent me some questions that they want me to ask. But like I said, we can leave that more towards the end. So I guess from where we could start is um, really because um, I don't want to tread too much old territory here because uh, I, I know you've done a lot of the lives yourself explaining it. But if we can get through uh, whatever it is that you want to say, uh, you know, as brief as possible, because we got a, we got a lot of ground to cover, like I said, especially if if um, uh, there's certain things that you want to address, because. Uh, yeah, I want to I just would like to, I would just like a few minutes just to start and then we can get into your stuff. And then I have quite a bit that I know, like I said, um, there's three hours of information about me out there. And I, okay. I just think it's I, I just think it's fair that I, I get a chance to say what I have to say too. Uh, okay. I want to start off. The start off was just going to be real quick. It won't take long, and then you go into some of your stuff, and then okay. I really want to get into the to the, the nuts and bolts to get some truth out there. Because okay. to be quite honest, to be quite honest, what I heard on the, on your live streams with these people was misinformation. Um, okay. Be, let me before I get to that. I do want to apologize to everybody. Um, just so you know, everyone, I'm new to live streams. I'm not even a weekend. Um, so if I make mistakes, uh, please keep that in mind. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Okay. I'm connecting with my fans all over the world. I'm having a blast, but I'm new. So if I make a mistake and if I say if I stuff, just understand I'm new to start but i want to apologize that's the very first thing i want to do is i want to apologize for my actions uh the past six days i have said and i have offended a lot of people and i apologize i did not mean that 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 is not was not my intention um i i should have said things a different way and i'm sorry i have good intentions it just came across strong it came across abrasive and it offended a lot of people. And, and I'm sorry, I did not mean to do that. Um, what I'd like to do is am amend our relations, to my, my relations to Scott Zilma, to Mikey from Ranger Stop, to my cast uh, from Zio, and to anybody else I offended in any way, shape, or form. Again, that was not my intention. Hopefully, as you get to know me a little bit here on this live stream, and as John got to know me yesterday, my heart is full of love it is not that's all that's why i wanted to say it's possible that there has been some misunderstandings during the preparation of the events that we've gone to myself and my brothers and i would like to apologize for the comments i have made in relation to those events uh, i don't i didn't again i did not mean any mean harm by that um i i was concerned about the mindset of the fans because of JDF's passing. And I'm speaking to these fans on a daily basis, and it hurts me deeply that they're struggling. Um, it came to my, um, I come from a warm place, and I want to deliver a message that is strong, and I don't want to offend anybody. I'm very, very sorry if I hurt anybody. Now, as I said, I, I'm here to, I'm here to save lives through Jesus Christ. I'm not God. And some people may take that the wrong way, okay? Um, I am not the almighty. 
vessel he's using to help people save life. All I'm getting is this hate and this miserable, mean, vicious comments back. And it really hurts me at a, at a very, very deep level. Um, every single live stream I've done, I've started it off with, I'm here to help save lives. I'm here to inspire people. I'm here to help people that have been bullied in this industry. Okay. And all I'm doing is getting attacked for it. I just don't understand that. Now, after saying that, I just wanted to start it off that way. And now, if you want to continue with what you have to say, feel free. Okay. Um, well, like I said, I, and I think we had spoken about this before, I think for people, um, obviously, you know, and, and we had spoken about this yesterday. I think it's it's okay to want to spread a positive message um, to evangelize and, and things like that and, and proselytize. Um, and I think, like you said, uh, maybe that got lost in translation, possibly uh, with, with people, maybe the, the way it was worded. I know you, you know, uh, what Ted is saying is like he, he wants to lead people. It sounds to me he wants to lead people to salvation through Christ uh, and not trying to say that he's the one that saves lives, but he's trying to lead people to Jesus who does. Is is that pretty much what you're That's, trying to say? Yes, yes, ex exactly, John. Thank you for clarifying that for everybody. Okay, yes. so so we'll put that there. So really a lot of this started because, uh, or at least the, the, the lives and stuff like that started as a result. Uh, I know you have the, you know, the stuff with Scott or whatever, but really I want to focus on what really brought it to the limelight, which, you know, on social media, which was the whole debacle uh, you know, regarding uh, the Ranger stop appearance, because that's really what kind of, um, you know, kicked everything off there with the lives and stuff. So, you know, I had Brandon on, I had, you know, I had Scott on and, you know, Brandon spoke to the, uh, the, the Ranger stop stuff. You said that, um, you know, that there were some things there, you know, that happened. Um, I, I'll give you a chance to, to, to go ahead and, and explain uh, the way you saw it. Cause we, we already got Brandon's side of it. So, uh, why don't you go ahead and explain your side of it, the, the way uh, you remember everything happening. Okay. Now, I'm going to be honest with everybody and with you, John. Okay. I did not see all that was said about me. I could, okay. only, hand, I could only handle 43 minutes of one, of one of the videos that was posted. I know Alrighty. this too. I know this too. I couldn't handle anymore. Okay. The, the hypocrisy and the amount of misinformation is is unbelievable and again when i go online and i'm trying to help save lives through jesus christ and i'm here to help people to inspire people and to help the bullying that's going on in this industry and around the world okay. to get that hate back it hurts me at such a deep level i can't even put it to words okay. and well, all around the world everybody is looking at the triplets as the bad guys okay. and, and and it's because of this misinformation now you said you give me a chance uh, i do need to talk a lot about what happened to ranger stop okay and i do i do want to direct people that are watching this youtube to my instagram account at triplets to Filippo. we have evidence there of malicious activities by brandon benfield okay uh, now, know when you say very strong, I know it's a very strong statement. I get that. Well, it's a very strong but, accusation. Yeah, it, it's a very strong accusation, and it's and it's true. And when you go and I go through these notes, and we go step by step through what happened, you're going to see it's very true. Okay, it's very very true. So, do, you, will I? Ha okay, go ahead. I, I guess just, just real quick, just real quick, because you said um, I, I know that you have notes and 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 things like that. Um, and there has been, uh, you know, evidence that has been shared on on both sides publicly, at least on uh, as far as Instagram goes. Obviously, you know, I've shown what was shared on the side of Brandon, and uh, you know, you said that you also do. You have, you said you also have evidence like that, and I think I have it here as well. Um, so, do you have anything uh, more? Is is that what you're saying? You have anything more that? Yes, that we do. Show? That's why. I Oh yeah, that's me too. I have much okay. more than I'm putting on there, to be honest. Okay. This has been a. I'm trying to be as. Uh, so just, re just real quick, Ted, before you continue, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for interrupting. Uh, is that something that you're going to show tonight? Is that something that we'll see tonight? 
it's already on our Instagram now. Not all of it. Okay. A lot that I'm going to talk about right now. And that if anybody has any questions, because since the beginning, my brothers and I have been questioned about everything we've done with Power Rangers on the Power Ranger franchise, right. including including a development deal with Saban. Okay. Including including the Power Rangers Zeo movie that we had with Saban. People, okay. for some reason, want to question us as if we're not telling the truth. Okay. And that hurts me deeply because we're from God and we're about truth. We're not okay. about misinformation. And if, for example, we came out in 1996. We went to Shuki Levy's house. All right. We, uh, one, of, one of our agents met uh, new Shuki Levy, the owner of, of Saban at the time, very well. We didn't know much about Power Rangers then. This is in 1996. And we went to Shuki Levy's house and we met him for two hours. He loved us, everything about us. And a lot about Trey came from what we talked about. Okay. We came out of uh, Shuki Levy's house with an eight month development deal that to this day, we're still questioned about. The people aren't believing us. Why? I'm not sure, but I'll continue. Um, it, it took us out of the industry. For most people that don't understand the development deal, when you sign a development deal with someone, you're not allowed to work for anybody else. Okay. So we got a considerable amount of money, more than a lot of all the other actors on the show, I believe at that time. I don't know. I don't know. And if I say anything that's inaccurate, I apologize. I am not perfect. I do not know everything. I'm just going to give you the information that I have. Um, so when they take you out of the industry, um, you can't work for anyone else. So Saban, they signed us to 30 episodes of Neil to do 30 of the power ranger zeo movie which you can see on our instagram account you can see the flyer that they had with the zeo ranger us in the middle and in the bottom right hand corner that's coming out in theaters in 1997 of spring now we get questioned about that like we're making that up and again that hurts me deeply we did not make that we did not produce that saban produced that why is everybody questioning all the time about us? I, let me continue. It's a question I know, but please don't answer. Let me, I have a lot to get to here. Uh, so, so we do the development deal. We have 30 episodes on Zeal. We, got the, the, we were supposed to do the Zeal movie, and then we were supposed to have a spin-off series, Portray of Triforia. Now, my brothers and I did not know how popular Power Rangers is. It's the number one kid show in the world, and it's awesome. Uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers was going on then. Zeo is the fourth season. It is the season right after Mighty Morphin. And when Mighty Morphin was at its peak, they had something here in California at the convention center. And it was so popular, they shut down the freeway. That's how popular this program was. The people that were working with us, our agents, they told us that we, there's a very strong possibility we would be typecast if we take on this role and this development deal at this level. So that scared my brothers and I. Because for most people that don't know, we're identical triplets. And this is the most surprising thing for me. Most people don't know that. They don't know we're on Zeo. They don't know we're triplets. And they don't know we're the original goal. That's a shame. That's an absolute shame because this is the number one kid show in the world. And I don't know why, who, who's responsible for that. But that's how it is. So what we decided to do is we decided to step out of the development deal. So Bond was not happy. You can imagine. They spent a lot of money on the movie and on, on, on the writing of everything. They weren't happy with us. So we did the, the, the episodes we did on Zeo. Now, we, 10, 12, 8, whatever it was we did, we did. The power transfer scene we did with Austin St. John was not in the script until we, until we backed out of the development deal. And it was so nice because Austin St. John loved. We loved Austin. We went to dinner with Austin at Power Morphicon. He's a great guy. But it gave Austin St. John an opportunity to come back on the show. And the scene we do with him, giving him our, power, our golden transfer of powers, is one of the most iconic scenes in all of Power Ranger history. But yet no one pays attention to it. And it hurts us deeply. Deeply it hurts us. Okay. Well, um, well like okay, I had mentioned to you before, like, like I had mentioned before uh, to you, um, the 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 hardcore fans of the show and 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 I'm sure there's there, there's probably a good amount of them here actually in this chat right now. Um, put ones in the chat if you remember Tree of Triforia. 
because uh, I'm sure that that the ones many. that that are the there most won't be many, John. I'm sure that the ones that watch the series, you know, ravenously, that are that are the diehard fans and collectors, that are the ones that um uh, that have seen everything Power Rangers and they're about everything Power Rangers. They know about the the entire history of the series. Right now, the the chat is getting flooded with ones. They know. I, I, this is what I was telling you. They know the true fans, the ones that watch the show. They know who you are. Believe me, brother. They know who you are. It's the I casuals that that might not be familiar with you because a lot of the casual fans, the drive by fans, as as I, as I would call them, they they only know Mighty Morphin. That's it. In most cases, you know, they only know Mighty Morphins and maybe some of them might know Zeo a little bit, but they don't remember details. They might they might remember a thing here and there. But for the most part, you say Mighty Morphin to the casual fan, they'll be like, oh, uh, you know, Tommy, Jason, Kimberly, you know, Zach, you know, Billy. You know, that's who they remember because that's the only one they watch. You'd be surprised to know that there's some fans that don't even know that Power Rangers continued up until recent. They don't even know. There's some people that's like, wow, that show is still going on. So there's a lot of ones in the chat. So there's people, they know the character. They know the character. I don't believe that. And I'll well, I mean, they just showed it right can there. I, can I, just, can I'm I, not sure if you're able to see the I chat. Can't see, I can't see the chat. And uh, can, I, can, I, can I speak for a moment if that's okay? Yeah, go ahead. The reason why I don't believe that is because I've been online for the past six days, all over the world, online. And nobody knows about us. When uh, when I went before we came back to Power Rangers, I was on the golf course with some friends playing golf, and I um, for some reason Power Rangers came up, and I'm like, oh, I was Power Ranger, I'm an OG Go Ranger, and all this stuff. Oh yeah, let, let, let me see you. So I go to Google, I Google original Go Ranger, and Austin St. John shows up. Mm -hmm. Now, you tell me everybody knows about me, and we Google original Go Ranger on Zio. And Austin St. John shows up. Then I go to the cast of Zeal on, on, on Google, and I'm not in the cast. Okay, well, and, you're can... the 20, and you're sitting there trying to tell me that everybody knows about I don't believe it. The hardcore fans know. Trust me, they know. Here's the thing. The, the whole thing with Google and all that, the reason why that shows up is because he, he appeared in more episodes. So it's, it, it's just – it's really more because of that. Because And also because he already had – the the um uh, the advantage of having been in a previous season so he was already an established character from a previous season from the first season so people knew him because of that you know what i mean it's, i understand it, that john and we talked about this yesterday mm -hmm. but uh, i understand that he's one of the most popular rangers in the history of the show i love him to death we went to dinner with him mm -hmm. but to be frank he could not be the gold ranger without Trey triforia so how do you include him in the Zeo cast as a Go Ranger when he's using our powers, Triforian powers. That is misleading to the audience and to the world. And that's why when I get on these lives, people see how upset I am. You can see. Now, we've done other credits in the business after Power Rangers. Mm -hmm. Everything else we've done, we're in the cast. Except the Power Rangers. Now, but tell me if I'm wrong. Is that misleading? I, you're kind of cutting out a little bit there, Ted. I don't know if it's the microphone that you have or it's. I think I, you, can you hear me? Should I take my, my no, head? No, no, I can hear you better now. If okay, you get in a little okay. bit closer like that. Can okay, you repeat cool. what you I'll said? Get, I'll get close. Yes. When, when, you, when, well, you, you, when you go to Power Ranger Zio online and you Google Zio, you had just mentioned because Austin St. John is a more popular ranger than we are, which he is. And yeah. he was part, part of Mighty Morphin, and he did more episodes. And mm -hmm. when they cat, then when they do the cast for Zio, when they leave Trey or Triforier out, that that's the reason why. Well, what I was saying was, how can you put him in the cast as the Gold Ranger, and his powers are from us? How did he get there? People think he's the original Gold Ranger all over the world, and that's wrong. And that's why when I get on these what? phones and people get upset the way I talk. If you played that cast and you well, were the original Ranger and around the world nobody knows about you, how would you feel? Well, here's the thing. There's some people that didn't start watching Mighty Morphin until the second season when Rocky was the Red Ranger. So to some people, some people think that Rocky was the original Red Ranger. They don't. Some people don't know about Austin, that Austin left. It's very few and far between, but I've run into people that have that thought that Rocky was the first Red Ranger because they hadn't seen the first season because they started right. watching during the second season. 
let me ask you this. Does Rocky use his, his powers? Does, does Rocky use Rocky? Yeah, he got the Red Ranger powers. Let me ask you something. Paramitus and the Golden Power Staff that Austin St. John uses is ours. Yeah, he got he got the power he got he got the Zord that Austin used. He got he got the powers that Austin used. Or that Jason John, used. I should say the character John, of Jason. Can you sit there and say there's there's something wrong that the world doesn't know that the I, that the, the Philippo triplets are the original Gold Ranger of Power Rangers Zeal? See the can thing you is, at least admit that you see, you can't even admit that. There's that. people that know. See, that's the thing. What I'm telling you is people know. People that know the show, they know. They've they're yeah. proven it. They proved it here in the chat, Ted. They proved it here in the chat. They I don't see anything show. in the chat. I don't see you're, anything you're in the chat. Not John. The, you're not seeing the chat, but if you open it up, if it. you open it up on YouTube, you're gonna see people know who Trey of Triforia is. The ones that know the show know, believe me. Can I ask you they something? Know. Is it okay that the cat that when you Google the cast that we're not in it? Is that okay with you? I, I mean, I can't speak to their decision why they decided to do that. I mean, uh, usually in most shows, from what I know about shows, is that if if a character is only in a in in a few episodes, you know, they they consider him a reoccurring character and not necessarily a member of the cast. So whatever decision went into Saban not putting there, I, I, I don't know. Maybe they should have. Well, hang on a minute. Hang there. on a minute. Hang on a minute. A few episodes. Yeah. Are we, can I ask you something, John, in front of the world. Are we originals? The oh, uh, color? yes. Uh, you're, you're the original Gold Ranger. You were the first one. Are there yeah. are there any any other originals in the history of the show that when you go to the cat the, the season they're in that they're not in? Any of any any other of them? What, is it, say again. I'm sorry because you did my you cut question, on John. Bit. My question, John, is we're originals. We're mm -hmm. legends. Are there any other legend original actors on, on the Power Ranger history of the franchise that play in a season that when you go to the cast that are not there besides us? Are there any other, uh, ori I mean, most original, of the original Rangers. Now, how, uh, John, how many original Rangers are there in the Power Ranger history? You're, you're trying to say, uh, when you say original, you're trying to say like, what do you mean? Like the, an entire season? Nope. I'm talking are about you, the, or the beginning yeah. seasons. If I'm not, if I'm mistaken, correct me. Okay. I'm told that there's eight original ranges in the history of the Power Ranger franchise. That is a, a, a season uh, that is 30, 30, 30 years old, 100 countries, and in 25 languages. Okay. We are the, the first of our color. We are the original gold. Okay. If you go to our, our season, you can Google it on YouTube and watch the episodes. We are not in just a few. That everybody wants, that wants to say. Well, We're not just in one. And you can be an original, and you can be in five minutes. You don't have to be in nine season, ten season. You just have to be the first of that color to yeah. show up. Well, and okay? nobody, yeah, nobody's disputing that. Nobody's well, hang disputing on a minute. That. Hang on a minute. Everybody disputes that. Don't sit there and lie to me here. Everybody disputes that. And to have a show that is this popular, and to and go to Google. And go to the cast and not okay. have them there, and to be and to be identical triplets, one in two hundred million. I don't know. I cannot tell you the pain my brothers and I feel. Okay. With that, it is very wrong, and somebody needs to be looking into this stuff. Okay, I'm sure. Look, I'm sure there's people that that are misinformed and don't know. But like I said, the people that know the show, they know. And there's also okay. other original colors. There's you know original purple. There's original zenith. Um, so, so hang you know, on a minute. The so, there's not eight then. so there's not huh? eight then. There's more than eight. There's probably original. more than eight. Yeah, because there's been other colors that have been original to the series, like crimson and um, uh, navy. So maybe they should get that information out. Maybe they need to get that information out to the world so we all know. So, but you are the original gold, and like I said, the people that know the show, they know that. But they don't. They know that. John, when you say that, you don't know what you're talking about because you're well, not you the original gold. I'll tell you why. How do I not know what I'm talking about? I, I, I know I, that you're the original gold. What do you mean? You know how many people come up to us and, and they tell me that Austin St. John's the original gold? Again, because they don't know. They're probably casual fans. They probably don't know. But again, the ones that know the show know is what I'm, is what I'm telling you. Uh, uh, let's just let's continue because, you know, it is what it is. There's, much time this. The there's, more other, yeah. there's more other things that we can, we can get to. But go Talk ahead. About. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead with, 
so can I go through some of my notes now? Or do you have other stuff you want to talk about? Because I, I really want to talk about uh, well, let's get, the lot, the, the, the misinformation. Well, let's get, let's get to the crux of stuff because again, you know, um, I, you know, I don't know how long we're going to go tonight, but I, I'm not planning on going three hours. So, <laughs> okay. Well, I, I really would like to have enough time to share my story. Sure. Again, again, you allowed uh, two and a half, three hours with other people to go on here. And and spread misinformation yeah. about me yeah. and my brothers. Okay, uh, you you guys have hurt our reputation. We have already lost. Okay, wait, 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 hold on. Uh, let me stop you right there. What do you mean, you guys? I mean, who are who are you talking to? Uh, me specific? Are you talk, do you I'm include so, me no, in that or? No, I'm not including you in that. Of course not. Okay, you're the host. I just want to make sure. Not, just want to clarify. I'm, okay, I'm talking specifically about Brandon Benfield. Okay, most of what I'll be talking about today is about Brandon Benfield, our agent. The okay. gentleman that's been running around all over the place lying about myself and my brothers. That's okay. what I'm talking about. As far as uh, everybody else, I, I've apologized to everybody. I, I went right. clean slate with everybody. And even Brandon Benfield, I forgive him for what he's done because I'm a godly person. But I want the truth. Okay. The truth to be out to the world. And this is the truth. If you don't believe me, visit our Instagram account and go through what's there. If you want more information, I will be very happy to supply it to you, but please okay. let just listen, everybody. And again, I'm going to try and be soft and I'm going to try right. and come across in a very pleasant way, but this is some really hard information to explain uh, when you're being treated like this. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Brandon Benfield was our agent Got us in this business back in the end. We, we came back to power managers in, October 21st, 2021. The only reason we came back to the Power Rangers is because of our friend Cody and because from 1996 to 2019, nobody talked about Trey of Triforia. We were completely erased from the, from the franchise and the fan base the whole time through. The reason we came back is because Hasbro came out with our action figure. And if you take a very close look at this picture and this action figure's face, okay. I gotta go away, I gotta go this way. I it is it. my it is myself and my two brothers. Now, when you came out with your podcast the last few days, we were trending big time on Twitter and Brad Hawkins shows up as the original Gold Ranger. Okay. Now I talked about Googling on the golf course and Austin St. John shows up as the original Gold Ranger. And now on Twitter, Brad Hawkins is the original Gold Ranger. Now, okay. Brad Hawkins was our voice of the Gold Ranger. He did a great job, and we love him for that. Uh, at the time we did Power Rangers, our accent was very, very thick. Nobody could understand us. And even now, I'm sure some people out there are saying, what is he saying? I can't understand him. But back then, we had to continually repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat. Uh, yeah. Now people can understand more what's going on here. So the reason we came back is because Hasbro knew that everyone else before them did not get the continuity of the show correct. There's yeah. misinformation all around the world about who we are. And it's a shame. It's a complete shame. But let me continue with my story, please. I, I have quite a bit to go to. I'll go as fast as I can. Okay. Our, first, our first experience with Brandon Benfield was at Fat Collectibles uh, comic book sh uh, store. And this was in November 14th of 2021. He shows up late, two hours. He doesn't introduce himself to us. And he buys food for himself and introduces okay. and, and gives us no food whatsoever. Now, the reason why I'm bringing these points up is because of the professionalism and the reasons why his character is, I want you to question his character because he's questioned ours. He's okay. Here and he's told everybody we're lying. And he's lying about it. He's the one lying. And I'm going to prove it if you, if you give me the chance okay. to, through this information and through going online and looking right. at proof. Okay? Uh, we'll, so we'll, go first, we'll go over it. We'll go over it. I'll go as fast as I can. I, I, again, I, I'll do the best I can. So, great food. We were happy with him. We wanted, we, we wanted to fire him that day. We are business people, and we, have, we, we, we understand business. And when you show up late and you treat people like you treat us, we want to fire you. But uh, at, at the time, he and Cody were very good friends, and Cody convinced us to give him a second chance. And we believe in giving people second chances. So we gave him a second chance, and we moved on. So then we go to Morphicon. Morphicon 
is the biggest Power Ranger convention in the world. Yep, that's true. We went one time before in 2012. It was such a miserable experience. Now, this is before Hasbro bought the company and came out yeah. with our action figure. So when you tell me everybody knows about us, we went there in 2012, and everybody just kept walking by our table. Nobody stopped. You say these Power Ranger fans that are die-hide fans and all the stuff you're telling me, it's, it's not true. It is just not true. We were there at that convention, and everybody just walked right past us. All right. So anyway, let me continue. The biggest Power Ranger convention in the world. Brandon was our booking agent. He's responsible for getting us in the convention in the right place and making sure we're advertised properly. Now, that's pretty common sense. I think everybody on the phone would agree with that. Well, we did a promotional video that we went to Vasquez Rocks, a very iconic place for Power Rangers, a, a, a creation that Cody created, and we created a, a, a promotion for Morphicon. Now, we hadn't been back to the, the, to the convention scene only one time, and then we, we were overlooked. Nobody knew us. And this is our first time back in 26 years. We did the promotion. We sent it to, to, to Morphicon. It never went up for 30 days. Now, we're the original Gold Rangers. We, 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 arguably, we, we have the most iconic scene, in, one, one of the most iconic scenes in the history of the show. And our, and our scene is not up. Our, our promo that we did is not up. So we call our agent, Brandon, complaining, naturally. He puts it up the next day. He gets it up the next day. Well, when you click on it, you got to wait seven seconds for it to play. Okay. That was a little interesting for me. That right, just, real, you, just, oh, just real quick, just real quick, just to that point, just to that point real quick. Uh, the, the fact that it took seven seconds to play might just be a buffering issue that it had. That might have just been a technical problem that nobody really had control over. So just putting that out. Okay, you can, you can you can put that excuse on if you want. There were other videos that came up like this. No, no, it's not an excuse. It's something that happens sometimes. I mean, it's it's with social media, it could happen. It, it could even happen with videos that are uploaded to, you know, streaming video sites. It's not it's not an uncommon era. Okay, I'm trying to provide a plausible, you know, you whatever know, explanation you wanna, for why whatever, that happened. Yeah, whatever you say, John. Whatever you say, Bob. I, I you know, I, I give you the opportunity. This is your show. I'm gonna try and be as polite as I can. Um, but okay, okay, that 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 could be very true. You're right. Um, so here we go. We shoot Power Rangers Zeo in 1996. We go to Power Morphicon in 2012. Nobody knows about us. You say people do? I don't believe it. They walk by the table. We're mm -hmm. at we're at the biggest Power Ranger convention in the world. They just walk by the table. Don't even know who we are. Uh, we show up in 2012. Brendan's our agent. He's responsible for the advertisement that came in 30 days late. We told Brandon directly, we want to be seated with our cast. Is that, in, that we just want to be seated with our cast. Okay. We haven't seen them in 26 years. Now, were we seated with our cast? No, we weren't. We, we were not seated okay. with our cast. There was a booth number for us, and it was a wrong booth number. Fans could not find where we were. We wanted to have a panel. Everybody from Zeal, the cast of Zeal, was there except David Yost. Mm. This is the first time we were there in 26 years. There was no panel. The end of the event, at the end of the event, when the event was over, and by the way, all we heard from that event, everybody loved us. Who, this, isn't, this is Paul Morphicon in 2022. Okay. Everybody loved us. They said we did a great job. Everything was fantastic. At the end of the event, Brandon, our agent, came over to the table and said, guys, I got to give you a check for your photo ops. I'll be right back. Why well, waited a half an hour? I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting. Now, let's think about this. He didn't put us with our cast. He didn't do the promo right. Now, this is the guy that's been going on lying about us the last few days. Okay. Let me continue, please. Please, let me continue. I had to go to Brandon to get our check. He was inside the green room collecting all his money from all his other actors that were there. Now, this is a guy that we fired once and we gave a second chance to. This is a guy that is supposed to have credibility that you had on your show that was lying like crazy. This is the same guy. This is 
the same guy. Let me continue. I'm among, I have a couple more pages and then I'll open up to whatever you want to talk to. We'll get some questions. I want our story to be told. It should, we should have our opportunity to do that, please. So we went to Power Morphicon. When Power Morphicon was over, we never got a phone call from Brandon asking us how we're doing, how the event went, uh, are we okay with everything? Nothing, nothing at all. And this was very concerning to us. Very, because we didn't sit with our cast, we had no panel, and we had to chase him down to get a check. We shouldn't have to do that with an agent that has all these people that he, he, he represents. Let me continue. We asked Brandon to put the original on our banner. He would not do it. And when I watched your, the video you did with him, the reason why I stopped is because he did not want to call us originals. And my question to Brandon Benfield right now on this line is, does he own Hasbro? Who is he to determine who is an original and who is not? And if you represent the triplets, the OG golds, why are you not putting original on their banner? Now, you're not the answer. I want the audience to think about that. And then I want you to continue as I'm talking about this gentleman to think about the comments he's made about us and that has been going around the world. This is the guy that's been saying all this stuff. Let's continue. If you review, you can see Hasbro's description of our character of Trey Triforia on our website. Please, anyone looking at this, go look at it. Because I'm constantly answering questions when I do lives that I'm not the OG. That Brad Hawkins is. That Austin St. John is. That I'm not an OG. The people in charge, Saban, when they gave us the development deal, referred to us as the OGs. And Hasbro, who owns the company today, who came out with our action figure right here, if you read the description, it says the original Gold Rangers. So I don't know why I, we have to keep explaining ourselves. And when we do, we get comments like, oh, you want more attention? Or you feel you need to be entitled? No, we don't. We want to be represented for the, for the character we play. We're sick and tired of the lies. This is wrong. There's something seriously going, going on here. We are OGs. We're legends, and people don't know us and won't want to give us any respect. Uh, let me continue, please. I know you want to cut me off, but let me continue. <laughs> let me continue. You gave everybody else three hours. No, please, uh, let me continue. I, uh, you Just tell your notes, so. though. You get your time to speak. No. That's fine. Go ahead. You know, son, if you have anything that you disagree with or anything. No, no. I, I was just, I was just going to mention that you know, in, you know, I, I don't think that Brandon said that that um, uh, you weren't an original. I, I, I don't recall him saying that. And like I said, I, and I think I, I've explained this before. When people, when people hear the term OG, the community, the the Power Rangers community, they apply that to the original cast. It has nothing to do with color. What they mean by OG is that they were part of the first show. They were the first team. They were the first cast. Is usually it, it, that's how that's the context in which they use OG. That's so not that's that that is also not true, John. No, that is uh, true, and and I say okay, that. Okay, if you say that, if you say that's true, over twenty years. If, okay, trust me on that. Twenty years. I yeah. want you to go look at the Power Ranger playback that Catherine and the Key have done with the with the Silver Ranger Justin Nemo, and you will mm -hmm. see they put original. Original Silver that, Ranger on there. But that, that's what I'm saying, Ted. It's hang on a minute. Hang the, on a minute. Hang I'm on separating minute. the OG from the original. What I'm saying is when people use the term OG, when they use the term OG, what they're referring to in the context, in the context of OG, what they're referring to is the original six, the the very first cast of the very first show. That's the context in which they're using it. Okay. It's not, it's delineated from original. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't mean that you're not an original. It does, I, you know what I mean? It, it's I don't the understand which is being used. Is what I'm you, saying. You say that, and and I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you, John. Um, but that's what the you're not, you're, is. What I'm trying to say. You're, you're not the original Gold Ranger being disrespected all over the world. Okay, you're not dealing with these fans that don't know what they're doing, saying the most craziest, disrespectful well, things to us that well, I'm dealing with on a daily basis. I understand. Look, Ted, 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 I, I don't doubt for a second. And this is what, what I was trying to, uh, when we were speaking yesterday, there's going to be people online 
that are going to say that to you just to get this kind of reaction from you, to get you upset because they know that it's going to bother you. And the thing is, because the truth, okay. I'm telling you, Ted, 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 I'm telling Let you, me ask I you promise this. you, the people Answer that know the show, they me. know who Trey of Triforia is. They know. They know Answer who this. you are. Answer this question for me, John, and answer it correctly, please. I had just mentioned that Catherine and Nakia on their podcast had the original Silver Ranger on Justin Nemo. Okay? <laughs> we went on their podcast. Okay. They're in our cast. Did they put down the original Gold Ranger for us? I, I, I didn't see it. I honestly well, well, check, I didn't see their check, podcast. Check so I don't, it out. I don't know. Check it out. No, they didn't. You know. They're our castmates. Yeah. I, 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 so I can't tell speak. Me why, tell me why your own castmates put you on a podcast and don't use original Gold Ranger. But yet, I, they'll put the original Gold Ranger down for somebody else. Yeah. I Again, I, I, I can't. Part, this I is can't all part of the misinformation the world and the reason why nobody knows us and the reason why the past Same. year nobody wants to book us no i don't want to hear again john please that they know us because they don't they do know you ted i'm i, I promise you you're getting there was people here in then the chat you should see the flood okay. of ones that they put in when i when i said then that, you guys know who trey triforia is they know ask, the okay, true fans you know you then. ted all right then why is no why can't you. we they get booked you. if they know us why can't we get booked anywhere Ted, I, I mean that's that's something separate. That's something separate altogether. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, yes. and, and it's something and like separate I said, altogether. What I'm yeah. saying is, yeah, I would say it probably okay. has to do in regards to what's what's been happening as as of late. It's just you know there's, and that's of why late. you're getting a lot of the backlash. That includes that, the is lot, that is that is more inf misinformation, John. Uh, I've, I mean, only, I've only I've only been on live for six days. Okay. We've been back in this business over a year. Okay. So don't comment on the last six days into the last year and how we've been treated you you you, you kind of combined the two they're, they're separate the okay. last six days is six days of me going online and being abused by these fans that don't know what's going on here right. and a year we didn't get booked at all you're trying to all tell right. me everybody knows us and they don't okay question for you question for you you said prior to this last power morphicon that you went to it had been 10 years right 12, we went to Palo Alto one time in 2012, in 26 okay. years. So was that the first time that you had gone to a Power Rangers related convention? Was was it in 2012? That's correct. Okay, so I think I know part of what what the issue is here. Then, if you think about it, if the last time people had seen you was in 1996, and the first time you appeared at a convention was 2012, and then another 10 years passed, I think that might be part of why people have you know don't remember you as much because you haven't been around. You think it has anything to do with that? I Google? think that's a possibility. We have to. I, I mean, I think on. it's a possibility, I, do Ted. I, do, do I get a chance to speak to? Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, I think it's a okay. possibility. It's a possibility. You think it has anything to do with the fact if you Google the original Gold Ranger, Austin St. John comes up? Or I mean, you think, maybe. It may, you, you think it may have something to do if you Google the original, the, the, the cast of Zeo and Trey of Triforce, it doesn't show up? Well, you got to remember again. He's a, he's a more popular character. That's number one. Number two, he's been very active in the convention scene. Ted, he's been around. You know, he's got he's got a lot do? of exposure. What does that have? He he's not the Gold Ranger without us. I I I understand that, Ted. What I'm saying though is is he's been more in the public eye, whereas you know there's been a longer periods of time where you've been away from the public eye. I think that might be a factor. You know, when, when you agree, at again. least there's a possibility. Right, that it's a possibility right. that maybe. What, do you want to know what I really believe? Okay. There is a lot of misinformation going on about the OG Golds for a little longest time ever. Okay, uh, that's what I believe, and I believe we stuck up for Cody back in 2012, and we told we were going to be blackballed, and we're blackballed. That's what I believe. Okay, and I believe that to be true because if you look anywhere online, you can't find us anywhere. And there's no reason for that. We we moved on from Power Rangers in '96, and we did other acting jobs. Not one of those other oh. acting jobs to this day has not included our names. All right. And that was twenty something years ago. The same excuse you're using now. It's been so long. You haven't been around, and that's why nobody remembers you. That's a lie. Because all the other shows we did, they remember us. Know why? Because if you go for those shows, we show up. Now my question is, what is going on here? I'm talking about it in regards to this this fan base. This particular fan base. This Power Ranger fan base and the people yeah. giving the information out, there's something seriously going on. I'm just telling you that straight up. As I mentioned, 
We did Power Rangers and we moved on and did other credits. We're on the other credits and we're not on Power Rangers. And you're trying to explain to me why nobody knows us because Austin St. John is more popular. No, they don't know us because we're not anywhere to be found. They erased us from everyone's memory banks. That's why that, they, that, that, that we're not known. That is the reason why we're not. Tell the I, truth. I don't Tell believe that. I'm sorry, but I don't, I don't believe there was a concerted effort to erase you from the history. Like I said, the fans of the show that are, that are hardcore John, fans of the show, they know. They know. John, and, what I want you to do at some point, and, and I consider you a friend, and we're just having a discussion. I'm yeah, not no, getting we are. loud and we're talking. No, no, we're just talking these things yeah, through. Of course, of if course. you would have do me, if, if the people on this line would do me a favor, please go online and try and do some research on Trey of Triforia. And if you wouldn't mind anything you find, anything, send to me at Triplets to Filippo on Instagram. And you'll find out very quickly there's hardly anything on there. And that is why nobody knows about us. And that is a disservice. There are people out there. Their job is to give information to the Power Ranger community about the Power Ranger franchise, the actors that play on the show. And those people are not given information about Trey of Triforia. And my question is, why? I want to know why. I'm the actor. I want to know why. And I want some answers. And if you, I know you don't have them. I want the community together as a whole to get together. And I want to know why. I'm an actor. You're taking me off the screen. And you're okay. keeping the memories of the fans come up to us crying because they tell us how much you, there are some fans that remember us. And I don't want to say they don't. And they're crying because they tell us about their childhood. But when, when, when information on the line isn't there about us, they're doing a disservice to the Power Ranger community. And that is wrong. They should highlight everyone from every season that participates in the franchise. They should not have the authority to leave out anybody they choose. And they've left us out. And there's something wrong with that. That's well, all I'm saying. Now, let me continue, if you don't mind. I'll go be done a little bit. Hey, go ahead. And John, I want to tell you, thank you. Yeah, no, no problem, Tim. No problem. Thank you. I really do appreciate this because we want to get this stuff straight. Um, here we are. Now we're bumping. Now we're going to go to Ranger Stop. And that's kind of where why we're on the, on the call right now. We talked a little bit about Hasbro. We talked a little bit about everything else. Now we're going to talk about Ranger Stop. Deeply, very deeply, that there there's a few Power Ranger conventions that are supposed to be designed for just Power Rangers. We're original Rangers, whether you want to call us the original of the cast or you want to change it around. We're OGs. We're OGs. We're legends of the show. We're identical triplets. We're one in 200 million. I don't know how anybody could ever forget us unless you don't put us out. Uh, when, and I'll ask people on your own, at your own house right now, I want you to think to yourself, have you ever seen a triplet before? And when I ask that question to people, nine times out of 10, they say no. So you're trying to tell me that we, we play, we're the original Ranger, we're identical triplets, we're one in 200 million. And when I get on these lives, nobody knows who I am. There's something seriously wrong. I already mentioned that point, but let's get to Ranger Stop particularly. Okay. Now, Ranger Stop, we've never been to the East Coast once uh, representing the OG Gold Ranger. Not one time. Now, it's been 26 years. Okay. Uh, Mikey, who owns Ranger Stop, now this is information from Brandon. I don't know if it's accurate. I don't know Mikey. I've never met him. I like Mikey. But what Mikey told Now you tell me, everybody knows who we are. Now Mikey runs a Power Ranger convention and he doesn't want the OG golds that haven't been out in 26 years at his convention. I have a problem with that. And the people out there that are part of this franchise just start asking some questions. What is going on here? What we had to do is we had to pay our own plane flight to get there, okay. which we did, which we did. We paid $2,100 to go to, to Ranger Stop. We want, we're, and the agreement was that we they would pay for one hotel room, just for one, and squeeze us all in there. Now, okay. we're originals. I keep saying that because nobody knows it. You don't fly us out and you squeeze us in one hotel room. You don't want us there. You're sitting there trying to tell me everybody knows Triforia. Mikey runs this convention. Does Mikey know who Trey or Triforia is, John? 
He'll defend himself. Absolutely, he does. He does. Why would he, he absolutely not? does? Okay. Why would he not fly a Southie? Why would he not want us at his convention? Okay, I could answer this real quick. It's not a matter of him not wanting you at the show. Um, the difference between Power Morphicon and Ranger Stop is that Ranger Stop is not an official show. It is not. It is not licensed by Hasbro, um, and Scott himself, you know, funds Power Morphicon, but he um uh, he has uh, he also has a lot of other conventions. He also runs a lot of other conventions. Uh, Mikey only has the one show. His show is really a fan-made show uh, run by fans and himself. And he doesn't have nowhere near the same kind of budget that Scott does. I, I will say that. I don't think Mike would have a problem with me saying that. That's just the facts. Uh, once he's at budget for inviting guests, he always puts out an invite to anybody who wants to come. To anybody who wants to come to the show. And they can make whatever arrangements after that on how they'll come. You know, I mean, I don't know what arrangements you had with them. You're explaining what it was on your behalf. That's fine. That's that's between uh, you and Mike. But it's not a matter of him not wanting you at the show. It's a matter of it's it's there's budgetary reasons why he will cap himself. You know, I mean, he's just like because he only has X amount of budget he could use to pay for flights, hotel and whatever other uh, accommodations he needs to make for the guests he's bringing. So at that point, he leaves it open and you'd be surprised. There's a lot of people. Because I used to be a part of Ranger Stop staff. I was there for six years. Um, you'd be surprised how many Ranger actors would come afterwards and say, hey, look, I'll pay my own plane ticket. I'll play, I'll pay my own hotel. Um, you know, just let me go to the show. And Mike would say, "You, that's fine. If you want to come to the show, you're welcome to come to the show. I'll make space on the convention floor because they know that they're going to make their money back once they start selling autographs, once they start selling pictures or whatever merchandise they're going to have at their table. So they're going to make their money back. So um, when it comes to budget, when it comes to budget that he's already reached his budget for the guests that he had intended to invite, because the thing is, it's not, it's again, it's not like Power Morphicon where Scott has a little bit more disposable income that he can, he can have people come. But not only that, Scott also has the advantage that a lot of, a lot of the Ranger actors live uh, pretty much in his, in his backyard. They, a lot of them still live in, in California because they still work. Uh, Ranger Stop is across the country. So it's more about flying people in and a lot of them do fly from the West coast over to his show. So he doesn't have the budget to bring however many, I mean, I think there's over like two, maybe two or 300 Rangers now at this point uh, over the course of the, however many, I think like 28 seasons that have gone on TV or something, 26, 27 seasons and got on TV. He doesn't have the budget to bring all of them. I'm sure if the, if Mike had that kind of disposable income, no problem. Uh, but unfortunately it's a fan show. It's a very small show. It's nowhere near, they get nowhere near the amount of attendance that Power Morphicon does. Power Morphicon does three to four times the attendance throughout the course of the weekend than Ranger Stop does. Ranger Stop is still, even after 10 years, Ranger Stop is still a very small show. Um, so that's when different arrangements have to be made if other people want to come to the show. Um, if Mikey said, you know, hey, you know, um, you know, um, uh, you're invited to come to the show. Um, then you're invited to come to the show. It's because he wants you there. You know what I mean? It's not a matter of him not wanting you uh, at all. Because if he didn't want you at all, there would no be there wouldn't there wouldn't be any reason for him to even open that door. You wouldn't be mentioned at all. Nobody would be mentioned at all. If if there's somebody specifically that he didn't want at the show, they wouldn't even be in the conversation. That's just how it would go. So. Okay. I mean, take I hear, what you will, what you said. that's from what I, that's that I, I can tell you right now from, from having worked with him for six years, which is, you know, majority of the time that Ranger Stop has existed. I know how he does business. Now, again, I don't know Mikey at all. He's a great guy. Okay. You'd like him. I, 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 I everybody think like him everybody tells me that. Everybody tells me that, but you said that he, I've only repeated before. Brandon told us, now, this is what Brandon told us. I don't know if Mikey says this, but Brandon told us this. He didn't want us at the show. Now, let me ask you something. I don't care how small the place is, how many people are there. We hadn't been in this in the industry for 26 years. We're originals. How do you not want original triplets at your show yeah. if you're a Power Ranger convention? What is going on? Again, I, I, I don't know. I can't speak to that. I, that doesn't look, I don't know what 
you know, the, the, um, uh, the conversation was between you and Brandon, obviously I wasn't there. Um, you know, Brandon, well, we're going to talk further. We're going to talk yeah. further and you're going to see how much, you know, but, Brandon, um, you know, whoever's making the decisions over there wanted to do, because we're going to continue on about this range of stuff because it gets a lot worse. Okay. This is, now, when you tell me, and this is why when people tell me everybody knows us and they like us and we're welcomed, please pay attention, pay close attention to what's going on here. We haven't been out here in 26 years. Okay. We've never been to Cal to Florida at all. Okay. And he told us he didn't want us. We had to pay our own plane flight. See, but now, again, it, to, to, I know you're going to defend him again. I know you're going to defend him again. He's your friend. I get it. See, but I don't but, care how big his budget is. Who does he have that hasn't been in the scene for 26 years? That's an original that wants to go to his event. Tell he me. plans. All right. Just to let you know, he plans to show. Over a year in advance, for the before the ne before the year is even done for one show, he already has a listing for what he's a. Mikey is one of the most dedicated planners I have ever seen of a convention. He plans out his next show over a year and a half, almost two years in advance. He's already started planning for the next show. He plans location, he plans dates, he plans a guest list. Okay, he plans it. He plans it out. You so know, what you're saying I'm, to me is if we didn't decide to, to fly out there, he would not want the original gold. No, Rangers no, no. What I'm saying is, is that he plans out well in advance, and the way he does it is based also on input from the community. He puts up polls on I his know. social media. Tell me about it. People want to see. You know what I mean? So it's not a matter because uh, uh, you got to remember, like I said, this is a fan convention. So he does what the people want. John, this is back to our, 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 our original point. You tell me all these people remember us, okay. but now you're telling me he books on people and what kind of draws they have, and he didn't want us there. So, no, I, so I, I, I don't is believe he did not want you there. The thing is, so, again, now again, you gotta I remember know, he can't, he can't, is, he can't bring everybody. Is what it, is my point? Is what I'm making. He can't bring me, everybody. And a lot you. of what he, a lot of who he brings, a lot of who he brings is dependent on the man from the fans. He likes to, he pleases his audience. He's this a very accommodating person. Very accommodating person. Yes, but he does. But he doesn't want the OG Golds that have been out, that haven't been there in twenty six years. There. See, the thing I, is, I don't I believe it. I don't believe it, John. That, I don't that, believe that's what fine. you're saying. Hey, but let me you can have your opinion of it. You can continue. have your opinion of it. Let's that's continue. fine. But again, unless you heard it from Mikey's mouth directly, I, I don't know what to tell you. Well, I we're honestly gonna continue don't. on. We're going to continue on, and you'll see how much Mikey wanted us there. You're going to see as we continue. Let me continue. Let me continue. So we pay twenty. We pay twenty one hundred dollars for these tickets to go this to convention, this Power Ranger convention in Florida, that is designed just for Power Rangers. We haven't been out in twenty six years. We're original Rangers and we're triplets. We pay twenty one hundred dollars. Okay. Okay. We're mo moving on. They do a promo for the advertisement for the convention. Okay. Now this this is, I believe Mikey, but I, I think it's Brandon that did this promo. Is this connection? I don't know how that dynamic works. And the triplets, the OGs that haven't been out in 26 years, are stuck way up in the corner. Okay. The, the, there was one other original ranger there, Walter Jones. He's in the middle, and then we're stuck up in the corner. We had a right. problem with that. We called Brandon and complained to him about it, and he told us that Mikey told him to do it. <laughs> now, you, you're telling me that Mikey wants me there, He's telling me all these things about all this other stuff. And now he's told me, now, this could be wrong, this could be hearsay. I am just telling you what Brandon told us. Okay. And, I'm, and I want people to question his character. This is all about, not, nothing against M Mikey. Mikey, he may not know the draw we have and whatnot. And please don't take this about Mikey. This is about Brandon's character because Brandon's been running around talking bad about us. And I want your fan base and the people that watch this show to see exactly what's been going on here. Okay. So, so now I, we can, do this. We do this promo. Oh, you want, okay. You want to cut me off? I, I just want to say one thing. I want to say one thing. Okay. So you're saying that. All right. Do you, you believe that Brandon has lied about certain things? Uh, is what is what I you're saying. I don't know. Um, I do not know. And I don't know like how Mikey feels because I, again I never spoke to him. Um. So either Brandon lied about. Um, Brandon definitely lied because he, he, he said, I, I heard him over there. I had to shut okay. it off. All right. All right. All right. So, so if Brandon, okay. So if you think that Brandon has lied about stuff, then what makes you believe that Mikey didn't want you there? 
if Brand, if we're not to believe Brandon as a reliable narrator. Okay, you want to an answer on that? I'll give you one. Because number one, if Brandon say say Mikey wanted us there, right? Why didn't he fly us out? Now this is January. This is January. The convention is November. Well, if Mikey wanted us there, why didn't he fly us out? Again, it could. Again, it probably had to do with budget. You probably, you probably couldn't afford second, to fly you out. Second one. Second one. I'm just. Why did he put us right at the top of the banner, at the flyer, and not in the middle? If he wanted us there. Well, he had us for for a couple reasons. Okay, he had a stacked show, and there was people at that show that were bigger draws. So they're gonna get they're gonna get the prime real estate on the flyer. Kevin okay, Nash so is a huge is a huge star. Um, okay. you know. So he's going to put the people that are probably going to, you know, bring the most amount of attention where they're going to be on the biggest spot on the flyer. They're going to have the prime okay. real estate on the flyer. That's, that's, that's just promotion. That's just a, any convention will do that. That's not, that's not something that's exclusive to Ranger Stop or Power Morphicon. That's all conventions do that. Now, so. we talked about this yesterday, John. Mm -hmm. You didn't agree with me, but I'm going to explain to the fan base the okay. draw that we have. The draw that we have. Okay. Every show we've been on, ladies. Hmm? Uh, wait, deal, hold on. We you got to say it again, Ted. I'm sorry, because it cut out. Okay. Your mic cut out for a moment. Can you repeat what you said? Every show that my brothers and I appeared on has the highest ratings. Okay. So when you when you talk about a draw, there's not a bigger draw than us. Okay, but see that. Hang see, on a minute. Let me finish. Let me finish. Go ahead. Please. Go ahead. Please. Please. I got to say something. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let me finish. And correct me if I'm wrong, I could be wrong, and we may have to do some research on this. There is not another Power Ranger actor that had a development deal, not one, but us that we know. Draw. You talk about a draw. We did that promo for the behind the scenes that that the uh, Power Morphicon that uh, Brandon did not advertise, did not get the advertisement up for the Power Morphicon uh, for to 30 days. We did a we did a promo on that one. It has 1.3 million views on it. And when you tell me we don't have a draw, 70% of the people that that goes to watch it. And when we talk to marketers that understand marketing and understand draws, they're blown away at those numbers. When we, when, let me finish. When we, got in, when we got away from Power Rangers back in the 90s, we were all over the TV. And we were going on shows, our ratings were so high, they brought us back on. So when you talk about a draw, and you talk about all that, it's misinformation. I don't believe it. All right. See, I don't this, believe it. This is where it's a little confusing to me, Ted, because you're saying okay. that nobody remembers who you are, but you're still you're still also saying, see, that's a little bit contradictory because you're saying nobody remembers who you are, but you're gonna be a big draw. So I mean, I, I don't really understand that. Let um, me clear it up. Let me clarify for you. All those other shows advertised us. Okay. Power Rangers erased us, as we talked about earlier. There's some sort of conspiracy going on here the past 30 years with the nobody knows in Power Rangers who we are. See, I, but again, like I said, the fans that follow the show fiercely, they do know who you are. And they they know, know who we are, are and we're so popular. Then why did Mikey not want us? And why did he put us at the fly at the top? Well, I've, I've explained. I think, you know, we're, we're kind of circling back on the same thing. Sense. There, but I, explained, I, I, hope. I explained to you, I don't think it's a matter of him not wanting you. Like I said. Okay. Well, let's continue. You, know, you find out. Let's continue and you'll see how much more he wanted us. Let me continue. All right. So we're at this, we're at this the tippy top. And uh, as we talk to Brandon, we complain about that promo when we see it early on. Complain okay. about what are we doing there, Brandon? Look what happened at Morphicon. We already fired you once. What the hell's going on? I mean, really. So we continue. Let me continue on, please. So to my knowledge, knowledge now i could be wrong here too and i'm not perfect please okay the fan base don't take anything i'm saying like um you may come it may come across arrogant what i'm saying but what i'm telling people when someone tells me i don't have a draw when I and mean, i gave you some examples they don't know what they're talking about simply they don't know what they're talking about uh, the reason why we don't have a drawer in the Power Ranger community is because we've been erased from the memory banks of the of everybody of the whole fan base. So let me let me continue. To my knowledge, Brandon and I could be wrong. Brandon runs the social media for Ranger Stop. If 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 I'm if I'm not mistaken. So to get to the point of it, 
our castmates, when when the when the um when Range to Stop convention was coming close, they used that flyer that we were at the Tiffany Top, okay. and they went on their social media accounts with hundreds of thousands of Power Ranger fans, and shared their their promotion with their fans. Well, guess what happened when they did that? The triplets that, that haven't been around for twenty six years that are one in two hundred million that are originals were cropped out. Okay. Not in the promotion. And you tell me that Mikey wants us there. Let me continue. No. Let me continue before you respond. Uh, in addition to that, so I saw that on October 31st. All right. October 31st at 6.57. I want you to go on Triplets to Filippo and look at a text from Brandon Benfield. Again, I'm questioning the character of Brandon Benfield, the gentleman that's been running around talking about us and lying. Look at the text yourself. You can see it yourself. I took a picture. I don't know if it was Catherine or Steve and Nikia, one of them, of the of the promo. And I said to him, the 657, October 31st, what's the matter with this promo? Okay. Call them see. soon thereafter. And, and you can go ahead and look at it. Go to Is our that website. The triplet, that's the one. Okay. Show me in that promo where you see the triplets. Okay. No, I, I see what you're saying, that it got cut out. But, you know, again, I don't think that that was uh, on purpose. Sometimes these things, when they're shared, that happens. The videos, the, the flyers and stuff, they get automatically cropped, unfortunately. So I think there was probably just uh, this not being sized the right way. And I believe Brandon had explained that, that one of the flyers that was not sized properly, when it got shared, this is what happened. So it's okay. just one so of let those me, let me ask you something, that I think was not, was not done intentionally. Let me ask you something. If you have an agent... And they run the social media and they put a fly together like that and you're cropped out. You haven't been around for 26 years and you're an original. What do you want to do next? What do you think? What do you think when I did next after that? Oh, hang on a minute. We got one more thing to do first. I talked to Brandon. I complain about that. Okay. Of course I complain about that. Nobody knows about us. We're going to East Coast first time in 26 years. We're in an advertisement at the top. I already complained about it. And now they're advertising it to their fan base and you can't even see us. Then okay. Brandon tells me this. Teddy, I got some really bad news for you. What could be worse than this? Well, one of the sponsors that were attending the Ranger Stop convention uh, weren't going. And they felt bad about the, the plane tickets that we spent $2,100 on. And they told us we were going to get $1,000 back. Well... Brandon or wherever's charge you there, folks, we're not getting a thousand dollars back. Hmm. Now, again, audience, I want you to scratch your head for a moment and think about these things. We're not like mean people. We 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 have love in our heart. We're about team and family. Can you see how this could be very upsetting? Very upsetting. What is going on? So naturally, what do you think I'm gonna do? I fire him again. Okay. I fire him right on the spot. Soon after that, at nine, let's see. Let me, let, I want to be accurate. Be very accurate. So you guys, uh, the fan base knows what's going on here. At, at October 31st at 6.57, I show him that ad. Look at the date. You can see it yourself. Everybody pay attention to the date. Look at it yourself. I fire him after that. After he tells me we lose $1,000. See it there yourself. Then, uh, what time was it? Hang on a minute. We're oh, almost done, by the way. We're almost done with what I need to do. At 9.17 p.m., just a couple hours later, it shows up on the Ranger Stop Convention website. An advertisement for the triplets. The OG Rolls. Giving you only one day to order pictures, order tickets at a 13% discount. Now, that is malicious. Look at the definition. That is malicious. That is a very strong word. I know it is. But look at the evidence. It's not there. They purposely lied to our fans. Took money from them, knowing we weren't going. Knowing we weren't going. Let me continue, please. That stayed up on the website. We didn't, oh, we did an event soon after that at the LA Comic Con. And some of our fans came up to us and they told us they saw that advertisement. 
And know what they said? They bought tickets to see us. And we went there. Okay. Now you tell me what is going on. What's going on? You, you're cutting out, Ted. Can you fix your mic? I don't. I don't know. Did you should I take these off? You think? Uh, it might. It might be better yet to just talk into the phone without them. Possibly, you might want to disconnect the Bluetooth. Yeah. Hey guys, uh, that's better. Yeah, that's much, much better. That's much better. Much better. Well, that's a little bit of an echo. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. For fans out there, I want you to 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 really put yourself in our shoes, please. We shoot this show, the number one kid show in the world. We meet the owner. We get a development deal. We shoot the show. We move on. We leave for 26 years. We come back. We can't find ourselves anywhere on the internet. We see Austin St. John as the gold, and we see Brad Hawkins as the gold, original gold. Okay. We go to Paul Morphicon, but not with our cast. We don't have any photo ops. We have no panel. We have nothing. Then we come to Ranger Stop. We're going to pay for our own plane flights. They tell us you're going to give us $1,000 back. You take that back. You make a flyer. You put us at the top. That way, when it's advertised to the world, you don't even see us there. Then, two hours after we cancel, you, you then advertise to our fans at a 13% discount that we're going for just one day. Okay. One day advertisement for one day. You, you maliciously lie to the fans, take money from them, then you keep the advertisement up until Saturday the 5th. Five more days that ad stayed up on their site. I called Brandon Benfield on the 5th. I said, Brandon, you've been lying to our fans for too long. Take it off. Put the cancellation up. Now, I did one thing, one point I did not make. We noticed at 9.17, when you guys put that up, well, who are you guys? Not you guys. When Ranger stopped, uh, I'm not saying Mikey. Maybe it was Brandon. I don't know who it is. That's the thing. I don't know who it is. I don't want to accuse anybody. I don't know who it is. Uh, whoever was running that social media okay. put up that ad from that 9.17. My brothers and I, Timmy and I, did not notice that was up until 12. Let me let me give you the exact time. And again, you can check this on our website, Triplets to Filippo. It's all right there. Evidence. This is not hearsay. This is not make believe. This is real life stuff going on here. Um, at nine uh, nine seventeen, the ad went up. If every example why I talk to you all over the world, nobody knows about us. Okay, now we're getting to the next page. I I it for the third time. We're almost done, guys. Almost there. At twelve, what, where was it? Twelve eighteen. It was just a little more than midnight on our website. At Triplets to Filippo, I, go take a look at it, please. Um, on, on November 1st, again, October 31st at 6.57, we see the flyer up. It's not in it. I call Brandon, complain. They take away the $1,000 for the, for the um, they take, I don't know what you're putting up here, but I'm not sure. And your point thing is that that's not for my, my site. So you're, you're misleading people here. Uh, I uh, want them to go to my it's, site. It's, Ted, I, Ted, it's, it's, from, it's from your Instagram, Ted. It's right. It's right up here. Okay, Look. I don't. I don't see that line. That red line on it. The reason why I'm saying that is I don't see that red line. But let me continue you anyway. So let's 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 get the story straight. Uh, Six fifty-seven. I call Brandon on October thirty-first. We're not in the flyer. I'm mad. I, I tell him that. He tells me he got bad news for me. They take away the thousand dollars for the flights. I fire him. I tell him we're not going. By nine seventeen, two hours later, there's an advertisement. Advertising the triplets for a range of stop, maliciously deceiving the fans, taking money. We we didn't notice that until midnight that night. I want you to go to Triplets to Filippo and look at our site, and you'll see at 1218 on the first of November, we put a cancellation up for a range of yeah, stop. Yeah, this and one. And we, we advertise that nationally because this correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know, but I think this is breaking the law. I don't know. But I think this is breaking the law. We're going to have to look into this. We, that doesn't mean we're going to press charges or anything. I want people to realize what is going on here. So anyways, let me continue. So we put that on our site. Now, how many people go to our site? Not that many. We're hidden from the Power Ranger universe, as we've talked about many times already. That 
cancellation did not show up on Ranger Stop's site until I phoned Brandon on the 5th of November. That's five okay. more days that the fans did not know that we canceled. Now, now that bothers me that, that that happened. These fans are being taken advantage of. Now, if I did not call Brandon then on the 5th, how long would that have been up? How long would that have been up? Now, people are thinking, we canceled, and we're the bad guys, and we're, we're like these evil people, and I'm like a maniac, and I have it, mental issues. Think about what's going on, guys. Take a close look. Look at our website. Look at what we talked about. Look at how we came back to the industry. Nobody knew we were here. They got Austin St. John as the OG Gold. They got Brad Hawkins as the OG Gold. We go to 2012 Power Morphicon. Everyone's walking by our table. We, we go to Morphicon. We're not with our cast. We come to we come to Ranger Stop. We got to pay our paint plane fare. We're gonna get a thousand back. They get they take that back from us. They do a, a flyer. We're not in it when it's shared. Then you then we cancel. Then you put an ad up with us in it. You could you take money from the fans. You keep it up for five more days. There's some serious things going on in this industry that need to be taken a look at. Now right. the reason I say that is I made these kind of comments on my lives. And I was looked at like I'm a lunatic, like I have issues, like I need I need to go to the hospital and I need to get looked at. Well, you tell me after this evidence I provided for you right now, what is going on here? Look, uh, I, I don't think it's a matter of um, I, I, I think it's it's a misunderstanding. It, it looks that way from my point of view. Um, a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding. I think there was a miscommunication between uh, the parties involved. That's, that's what it seems like because I see what, what Brandon had shared. Okay. Um, I see, I see that, you know, on the 31st, they shared that flyer. And then the next day you posted that you canceled, um, you know, um, so I, I, and if something stayed up past that, I, I haven't, you know, I haven't seen it, you know, obviously if, if, it, if it was up, it, it was obviously deleted at some point. I don't know if anybody had screen captured it beforehand while it was still up. Um, so I, I, I can't speak to that. I can only speak to what's publicly available from what you've shared and what from what Brandon has shared. You know, I mean, if there's anything more, if you have anything more that, I you, do. that you can show, I, I mean, please feel free to send it to me and I'll and I'll show it on I screen. Do. I have some questions um, to ask. I have some serious questions to ask. OK. So if, I mean, if Brandon is, is, is on your show and he's making these statements, which I heard, he said we never canceled. I heard it. Okay. I heard he said we weren't OGs. I heard that yeah. too. Those are lies. Are they not? After, I mean, after what you've seen right here, they're lies. I, I mean, I, I don't I he might have said you you weren't OGs, like I said, in the context of the original cast, the original people on the show, but he never did he he admitted to the fact that you were the John, original gold. John, he did I say that evidence that you can look at yourself. Well, no, he's he said it on my stream. I remember him. Okay. Saying it on my stream. Okay. Now, I didn't the see the original Gold Ranger. If I watch the the other hour and a half of what you guys put up here, uh, uh, we've lost jobs already because of what was put up on this station by these people. Okay. We're celebrities. And you I, can see for yourself, do your research. Everybody watching this show, go to Triplets to Filippo and look at what we have there. I have a lot more evidence if you want it. But I think we've shown enough that we we got to question Brandon Benfield's character and if he's telling the truth. I mean, uh, we've proven here today that he's lying. I, I think I think we have enough evidence to prove that. Correct. I would say I I don't see anything conclusive enough to make that determination on my end. I honestly don't, and I'm just saying that purely based on what's available publicly. John, I knew it would be this way. To be honest, because I know your friends are these people. But this is not true. No, it, it doesn't even honest. have anything to do with I that. Have, I, I'm I've an evidence guy. History. I've gone through a history of, of how this gentleman conducts himself. Ted, and Ted. I, I've given you proof. You've looked at Ted. it. Your audience have looked at it. And you continue to okay, make excuses. Look, this, is, this, is, no, no, this is what I have. It's not about excuses, Ted. Because the thing is, if uh, I don't know how familiar you are with my channel. If you went and watched my back catalog, I actually cover a lot of legal cases as well here on my channel. Um, 
So I'm a facts and evidence guy. I'm a facts and substantiated evidence guy. And I'm speaking, I'm speaking purely, I'm taking my, my personal feelings out of this and basing it purely on the evidence. Okay. From what I see that's publicly available, I don't see anything that conclusively proves what you're saying. I'm just saying it purely from that point of view. Okay. It has nothing so, to do. So Brandon you don't is my see... friend. Brandon is minute. my friend. He is my hang, friend. Hang but I, that has hang nothing to do with, I, with, my, with my conclusion here. You don't see a text that shows that 857, the flyer that we're not in. You don't I see have that. that you, you mean this text, right? I'm going to share it again. I'm going to share it again. Okay? Show it to me. I'm going to share it again. Show you mean me. this one, right? Because this is the one that's available on your Instagram, right? That is available. Now, okay. So let's go over that date. What is the date up there? The date right there is October 31st at 657. I see that you say, what's wrong with these promos for Ranger Stop where you link the flyer? Okay. Now, okay. I, we fired him twice. We're OGs. We, we we had to pay for our flight. They took away a thousand dollars. They advertised this, our castmates, the hundreds of thousands of fans. Are you trying to tell me we didn't we didn't fire him and cancel at that time? Is that what you're trying to tell me? What I'm saying, I see that you put it here, but I don't see it here in this screenshot. Okay. That you so you're now, saying it here. Now, I see it here. What I'm saying is I see it time. here that you posted it on, on Instagram saying text firing Brandon canceling Ranger Stop uh, 11 31st 22. But you're just showing a picture of you saying what's wrong with these promos for Ranger Stop. So do you have a text that shows, hey, you're fired or do we have, to, have that? We, we went over the character of this gentleman and okay. how he treated us and how we fired him twice before this. Did we not? We did. I right? mean, I mean that's that's your the opinion. one point I want to bring you to. Okay. From that post, after what we talked about, Brandon. All right. From that post and that time, of right there, if we did indeed, if what I'm saying is true, and we did indeed fire him and cancel Ranger Stop, there is proof that they put that ad up after this time I talked to him. Correct me if I'm wrong. Nine twelve. If you look at Ranger Stop. Convention okay. 912. That is after that. We fired them. We canceled. They put it up. Correct okay, me saying... if I'm wrong. And now, now that's if I'm lying. Now I haven't I there's no I have no one's given proof of me lying or judging my character. I spent mm -hmm. about an hour telling you about the character of this gentleman. I think if anybody thinking on their feet saw his behavior. And we're not the only ones. The other people in the industry, if you ask them about him, a lot of other people fired him too. We're not the only ones. We oh. gave him three chances. We're nice guys. But right. we, we do not appreciate I the fact that he's going on live all over the internet defaming our character of the celebrities, the Filippo triplets. I mean, something I now, you're, you're an attorney. I want to ask you. No, no, I'm not an attorney. I'm just a guy that, that you know, I, I, I'm probably not more knowledgeable than, than the average person when it comes to certain things, but that, you know, I wouldn't, yeah. I would know, I would never call myself an attorney. I'm, I didn't go to school for it. I believe okay. that's even <laughs> illegal to say. So right now, let me stay for the rest. I am is not it, an attorney. It, so for is, it, is, it, is, attorney. It, is it a comfortable assumption? Just as an assumption, after what we talked about this gentleman and what we went through, that we fired him at that point and we canceled. And then they put the ad up after. Just an I'm, assumption. Is I mean, it you possible? Can, we can speculate. That, is can it speculate? possible? Um, yeah. yeah. Can you can we speculate that we fired him and we canceled after they took the thousand dollars from us? They didn't put us in the flyer. We haven't been out there in 25 years, and we're the original Gold Ranger. Is it just possible? I'm just saying, is it possible that I, they, then they put the then they put the advertisement up two hours later and they kept it up for five days? It certainly look. It certainly is within the realm of possibility. But again, it's it's again. I I can only take it as as speculation because I don't. And again, Ted, you know, and I, I I'm just saying from what I see, I don't see you telling him he's fired in any of the texts. I'm not saying they exist. Maybe you have them. I don't know. I would love to see him if if that's the case to conclude. I don't have you know, a text saying I fired fired him. I said you know, a lot of other things on that okay. phone that I can't I can't um repeat. They, they, okay. you know, I, as you can imagine, what, what, what would you say to someone that you gave two chances to, and you had that, that I, I year of an experience upset. with? I, I understand you know. being upset, but, but you know, I would hope. Look, Ted, and I'm being honest here because I, I mean, despite what you might think of Brandon, I, 
I believe it's a miscommunication. And I hope at, even if, even if you don't ever um, have him, you know, work with him in, in that capacity, I would hope that at some point you, you guys can talk and be am, a, amicable with each other. You know what I mean? Be friendly yeah. with each other at some point, yeah. because yeah. I, he really is. A, he's not a bad guy. I, I really believe this is all. I'm just not saying he's a bad guy. Kid. I'm a Christian. I, I believe everybody has good in their hearts. But as far as being an agent and representing the OG goals, okay. he did an awful job and he's lied. Now, okay. lying in my mind is a sin. It's against right. God. Yeah, if you read in the Bible, lying is a sin. Yeah. I, I don't I'm a godly guy. guy. I'm, I'm a godly like... guy. Okay. That doesn't mean I'm perfect. I tell you that right now. I, I, I am not. I am the furthest from perfect. I'll tell you straight up. But, yeah. but the guy lied. And we know he lied. So we now uh, we got to question his character. Yeah. And if, if he lied not then, we got I don't know that we know. I don't know that we know. If you mean it in general, I don't know that we know. I mean, I, I believe, you know, you believe that he did. You know what I mean? Uh, and I'm not I'm not here to, you know, okay. say that you're lying have... or anything like that. I'm not. Okay. That's not what I'm saying, Ted. I'm not saying okay. that you're lying or anything like that. What I'm saying is like, like I don't I would need more. I, I, I would need something conclusive before I make any kind of judgment or determination on that. Okay. But um, let's move on from that, though. Yeah, I want to finish time. with a good note. Can I finish with a good note, please? Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. yeah go I ahead. Finish Ted. with a very good note because, in the end, guys, even with how badly we've been treated, we really want this community to come together. We, I mean, I we really, really want this community to come together. I want to repeat um, what I said at the beginning. I want to apologize for my actions because I know I have. Um, said a lot of things that okay. was offensive to castmates, to fans, to convention owners, including Mikey and Scott Zummer. I apologize. You don't deserve that. Um, you didn't, you're not responsible for this stuff. Uh, we, all we know is Brandon is. That's why I called his name out many times. So yeah. please, Brent, uh, Mikey, and Scott Zelmer, a very good guy. And Scott, the little bit I heard from the podcast, I learned a lot of good stuff from you that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna continue to use on these live streams. And thank you for that. Mikey, I'm sure you're a great guy. And we wanna come back to Ranger Stop. We wanna go to Power Morphicon. We wanna go to Ranger Stop and Pop. We have OG goals and we wanna see our fans. What we want is to come together as a community. We want truth. There's, we're finding there's no truth here. We want truth. What we want is, again, I want to apologize for my actions the past six days. I said things I should not have said, and I'm sorry. I have good intentions. They came across really strong, and I was super aggressive. I mean, you got to understand something. We went through some stuff tonight that's very upsetting. <laughs> I think anybody in my shoes would be extremely upset at what was going on. I would like to amend the, my relationships with Scott Zelma, with Mikey from Ranger Stop, and our cast. I want to apologize specifically to Nikia, to Catherine, to Stephen, and to um, to Johnny, and to um, Austin St. John. I said things I should have never said, and I apologize. Um, I do not apologize to Brandon. He doesn't deserve an apology for what he's done. And you guys saw the evidence in front of you. In addition, oh. it's possible that there was a misunderstanding in, in the preparations of these events. And I'm not oh. uh, excluding that. There is a possibility there was a misunderstanding. And we are godly people. We will forgive. We will forgive. And we want to move on as a family. We really want, we really want to, to come together as a community. And, but what really is upsetting to me, and I do want to talk about this, I'm very, 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 very concerned about the mindset and the fans about what's happened to JDF. Very concerned, extremely wow. concerned. Um, people out there are struggling. And when I come online and I use God to, and I give salvation, and we start talking about uh, people well, Jesus, that Jesus gives salvation. Uh, Jesus, Jesus gives Jesus salvation, Christ. correct. Thank you for correcting me. I am a vehicle. To, that God is using to, to, to get, send you to a place where Jesus can help you become saved by simply asking Jesus into your heart and believing Jesus Christ died on, this, on the cross for your sins. You are now saved. I'm just a vehicle that does that. I'm not God. I'm just no. using that as a vehicle. But I'm extremely concerned at the mental state of the Power Ranger community 
the millions upon millions upon millions of fans all over the world that are struggling with this kind of stuff. And I'm coming online, I'm crying, I'm trying to talk about where, and I was in that situation and how I dealt with that. And I'm trying but, to give them uh, ways in which to cope with that. And I'm being attacked for it. I'm well, being attacked for it. And I don't appreciate that. I think yeah. there should be more people like me helping people get through this. And yeah. as a community, we want to come together. We do not yeah. want separation. I came on my live stream last night and I, I, I sent a message to my group that I want them to take off any type of, of hate speech or complaints. If anybody attacks me and my brothers, I told them I want you to go to your social media and I want you to delete it. I want, I want it off. I want oh. to hug everybody and I want to come together as a community. But if you continue to exclude the OG gold, the triplets from this community, how can we do that? We want to be included. Can, can we do that as a group, include the defillable triplets? Is that possible? Well, like, like, like Scott had said on my stream before, you can ask. You can ask, and I, I think that's the that's, best that you can possibly do. Just just learned, yeah. That's another thing I learned from Scott. Thank you, Scott. I, that's what I learned from Scott. Is I, I put it in here. I'm asking to be included. Please and, include the OG yeah. Golds. Now, I know you have your agenda, uh, 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 John, and I know yeah. fans have questions. So yeah. I've said what I have to say. Now I will go so, ahead and listen to what you have okay. to say and everything All else right. that you need to do. So so just one last thing before we start taking a, a few questions here in the chat. Um, uh, I, I hope, like I said, you know, I, I know um, – you know, you say, you know, you're not going to apologize to Brandon, but even then I hope it, in time th there'll be, you know, forgiveness and, and apologies that are exchanged there because, you know, we got to remember, remember what it says in Matthew 6, 14, it says, for if you forgive men, their trespasses, your heavenly father will also forgive you. But if you, for, if ye forgive not men, their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. So I hope, yes. you know, I've already I forgiven you know, Brandon, but okay. I don't forget. Okay. Well, I, I mean, but That's like I said, I, I think there's I hurt. Look, Brandon. I announced that publicly, but he's not my friend. Don't okay. Never be my friend. I, and I don't think, listen, I don't think, I don't think you have to be friends, but I think, I think, cause it, cause again, I think at some point in time, I believe that you all will cross paths in the future. I just hope that you guys could be amicable with each other because How like I said, be I think with see, somebody that went around the world lying about us and defaming our character. I, I don't think you did that though. Already. I don't think you did that though, Ted. I think it's a misunderstanding. I really do. I think it's if you guys talk about it you have evidence in in front in private. Of you. It's that you have evidence in front of you, John, that proves see, it. That I, that, uh, to me, it doesn't prove it conclusively, Ted. I disagree. I disagree. Okay. I don't think it proves you, it You have that right to disagree. But John, again, you, you know, want. look, I, I think that it's 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 a private conversation that needs to be had uh, with, with you and Brandon to I'm hash not, it out. I'm not interested that's what in I talking think. to Brandon. Okay. He texted okay, me last fine. night. I mean, nobody, I'm not returning his phone calls. That, that's your I choice. Him. That's your I choice. That, him, but I don't forget. That's your choice. That's your choice. But uh, we'll go ahead and take a couple questions here. Uh, from people. I also wanted to ask you, somebody sent me some questions, if you don't mind answering some of these. One, one of my uh, one of my friends here had sent me some questions uh, okay. regarding stuff. And just remember, look, these are questions, um, you know, just, you know, answer to the best of your ability. If you want, um, you know, don't don't let anything upset you. I hope I hope also if anybody offers any kind of constructive criticism, it, it's something that you at least, you know, consider. So uh, I, I have questions here. Um, uh, let me see. This is a question from uh, that somebody sent in that says, uh, your Instagram account has seen an influx of over 330,000 new followers over the last 30 days. According to social media tracking site, Social Blade, many of these accounts appear to be bots or essentially fake accounts. This has led many to accuse you of buying followers on Instagram, inflating your numbers. What is your response to this? It's complete false, like everything else in this industry. Uh, we have millions of fans all over the world. I, I, I don't know why I got to keep talking about this. And what you're going to find is those numbers are going to continue to grow into the millions. If we had an Instagram or social media account back in the 90s, we would have hundreds of millions of followers. Okay. Here you go. Okay. So uh, let me see this, this next question. It says, uh, in a previous live stream, your brother Tom stated that mental health resources such as the 988 hotline do not work or that they don't actually help people. Are you willing to walk that statement back and promote these mental health resources to your fans? Absolutely. Are you kidding me? For sure, 100%. Tommy didn't mean anything 
malicious or bad by that. Um, he just made the comment that sometimes you can't get through. What, what my message is to you is reach out for help. Call the call those lines. Call call a friend. Call anybody. G give someone a hug. Talk about it. That's why when I get on these lines and I talk about this stuff and I'm crying, I'm crying because of this stuff. That's what people need. They need help. Call anybody and everybody that you can to help you get through this, please. Yeah, and, and I put a website up there that people can uh, that that uh, that people can go to. Um, but uh, I'll, and let me ask this this next question here, and then we'll open it up to the rest of the chat. Um, let me see. Uh, the next one is uh, you. Okay, the next question is you have repeatedly claimed this is not about money, but during a recent live stream, you offered your fans a chance to join you on the call, but only if they paid fifteen dollars first. This has painted the perception to many that yes, this is a hundred percent about money. Are you willing to engage and interact with your fans on a personal level without charging them to rebuild the damaged trust? Well, let me talk about the damaged trust. What is that all about? Well, I think um, that refers to just kind of like 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 we had spoken before. I think that that uh, a, a lot of what was said um, was, uh, you know, it, it offended some people. You know what I mean? Uh, and maybe uh, like like I said, you know, uh, I think maybe it could be because of um, how it was worded, or maybe. You know, I, I don't know how maybe how people perceived it, but and I don't know what, you know, I can't speak to, to intention. You know, I'd like I, to think that you had no intention you know, of doing that, but I think some people probably uh, interpret it as that. You know, I'm laughing about it, and I, I'm sorry if I am. It doesn't mean it's not a serious question, but it's funny to me that okay. I'm online trying to help save lives. Now, I can't save lives. Jesus does. But I'm online trying to help save lives. I'm motivating people and I'm fighting against bullying in this industry in the world. Okay. And I'm getting questions like that. Um, it's just upsetting to me. If you look at the prices on our website, they're a fraction of the prices of all the old other originals in this in this industry. Okay. And there's three of us. We split that money three ways. We're not invited to any events. We make no money. And you 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 want you want to come on our site on the live stream privately for free, but yet you'll go pay a hundred dollars down the street from another actor that's not original that's been out forever. Okay. I don't understand it. The reason why we charge for the um, the live streams is private with the three of us. It's okay. a it's a dollar per minute. There's three of us. Think about that for a moment. Think about sixty minutes. That's sixty dollars divided by three. We do this full time. We've been here a year. We we maxed out our credit cards because nobody wants us, and you every nobody wants the OG golds. I I just don't understand it. Go ahead. That's how I'm going to answer that question. Okay. Uh, let me see. The next question here is. Uh... I say it says you frequently invoke Jason David Frank's name in your live streams, even using the hashtag uh, rip JDF uh, nearly every social media post you make. You claim that you are carrying on his legacy, filling a void for power ranger fans who lost their leader. However, in fan communities, leaders are not self-elected. They evolve from good deeds and an unspoken heroic aura to be good and do good for the sake of just being a good person. Are you willing to accept that Power Rangers fans may not want you to fill that void either due to the void being unfillable in general or because of the fact you are not as well known as other Power Rangers? Now, now John, uh, first I want to do is these are all negative questions. None of them are positive. Not one yet. Um, I'm sure you're, I don't know if you're choosing them. This no, these is, are questions that were sent to okay. me. Okay. I, what I yeah. want to know from that person that sent that out, show me another Power Ranger actor online trying to help people deal with people killing themselves. Okay. Uh, I mean, show me another actor John online. Just, I'm not finished. I say John just shared, just shared this the other day on his Instagram. Here, I'll show okay. you right now. Well, okay. He just, he just shared this. Yep. Okay. He shared that. Have you seen Austin St. John crying like me? With JD, about JD, well, well, I, I mean, I, I don't think that, uh, Ted, I don't think that that's fair because people grieve in different ways. I don't think that that's indicative of whether or not they, uh, you know, that, that 
whether or not they care. You know what I mean? Uh, People, people grieve in private people. Some people grieve publicly. I don't think that that's, that's fair to say. You're putting up uh, uh, just a piece of paper. Okay. That Austin Austin St. John puts up with a suicide plate, a number to call. Okay. I'm online every day crying with the fans. Okay. And you're trying to compare the two. Okay. So you're saying, so what you're saying is, is that he's being disingenuous. Is that what you're, what you're saying? What I'm saying is, if he and the rest of the leaders of the Power Rangers were doing as much for these people that are struggling as I am, not as many people will be killing themselves. Okay, That's look, what I'm saying. I, I mean, there's no way, there's no way to know that for sure. Here's here's the thing, Ted. I, I mean, I don't think that's fair to say because we don't know. Like, it's just like if people are questioning you, right? How how do people know that uh, that you're not just acting, right? That like that'd be like people saying that. You know what I mean? So I don't think it's fair to try to say that one person cares more than the other. I think, I, you know, I, I'll give you, I give you the benefit of the doubt that you do feel that you do care. Right. But I, you know, I'm not going to sit here and question if, if Austin genuinely cares or not, or if somebody else genuinely cares or not, just because they choose to do it in a different way. Does that make sense? Whatever you want to say, John, you know, I, I'm just I saying, kinda, I, I, I don't think it's fair to try to compare to this, see who, you know, who is more knew, genuine about it. I knew what I was in for with this. If real people that are thinking on their feet, They'll see the time and effort that I'm putting in that to care for people and not about the money. And there are too many actors out there that are cared about their pockets, about making money, and not about the fan base at all. And I've seen it very clearly. I'm here to help save lives through Jesus Christ. I'm here yeah. to motivate and inspire. I'm here to help stop the bullying. And I'm here to help people get through this tough time because they lost their leader. And I'm doing more than anybody else. And I'm not getting any credit for it, but instead I'm getting comments like this. And well, it's, I mean, it's well, just well, it's disingenuous. It's not, it's it, it it's it reminds me of how this Power Ranger community is and how they treated the OG Golds. It really is consistent. It's really consistent. If more people were doing what I was doing, the people this Power Ranger community would be in a much better place. Really. Yeah. I mean, we, we we'd have to see, like I said, I I don't know. I mean, of course, I, I always think that it's it's good to be positive. But um, like I said, I, I don't think it's, you know, I, I think it's, you know, just because the way certain people act, I'm not sure that how they conduct themselves on social media is necessarily an indicator of or, or a good therapy, way to gauge whether or not have, have, have they care more or care less. Have you ever so, been to therapy, John? Have I ever been to therapy? Yes. Uh, thankfully, I, I don't think I've never needed it. So, no. Okay. I have. And okay. therapy is about talking things through. That's what right. therapy is. Therapy isn't about just putting up a picture and a number. That's not therapy. I, I understand, therapy but again, how do you know that they're not doing that to... offline, though? That's 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 my thing. That's my point, Ted. It's like, how do you know offline when they're at conventions or somewhere private with some with fans that they meet up that they're not doing that? This is the, the you know what I mean. I don't know that. I, See, I that, how, do, how would I know that? I don't know that. So well, what I do un, know. That's what I mean. It's unfair to assume. The world, that. John. What I do know is the world is seeing me doing it, and instead of okay. applauding me. And, and complimenting me and thanking me, I'm getting all kinds of criticism. What well, I mean, I, I don't think it should be people. done for that, though. I don't think it should be done for 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 self-aggrandizing or praise. It, it, it should be self. just for the goodness I, of I'm your heart. It, I'm doing it because I'm doing God's work. Okay, I'm, well, John, I'm well, trying to help save lives. I, no I understand. Cares. I understand how you feel, Ted. But I'm just saying. Remember, true charity is 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 true the best charity. kind of charity is the one that's done when nobody's watching. Oh, really? You agree? I don't agree with that at all. No, I I, it says it in the Bible. But I don't agree. I don't agree with that at all. Oh, okay, but it says it in the Bible. All that all that means in the Bible is that you go give money and you do it on, and uh, without your name on it. These no, people, it, it, John, it these people funny. all over the world need people to talk to. They need their heroes to show up and be there for them, not just at the convention taking their money, like everybody else is doing. They but what, doing how do you I'm know doing. that they're not though, Ted? That's what I'm saying. That's my that's that's my overall point. How do you okay. know that they're not? How do you know yeah. that they're not taking time to talk to somebody aside when they come to these shows? How do you know that when they're out in public somewhere and they meet a know, fan John. that they're not talking with I them do on not that first know, level? John. But okay. what I do know that, is the that's, world that's my is point. seeing that's me my point. It. The world is seeing me do it. Okay. And you, I'm getting criticized for it. Think okay. about it. Think about it. I'm trying to help save people's lives and I'm getting criticized for it. Think about the craziness of that. Think about it. All right, let's, let's we'll let, let's go to the next question. Then we'll okay. open up to the plans on four, and then and then we'll okay. go ahead and now. Uh, hopefully, uh, John, can, am I going to get a positive question? Or are they all going to be like this? Um, 
I, I, I honestly, look, I'm just reading them as they come in. And honestly, I can't control what people want to ask, Ted. It's just whatever they're asking. You know what okay. I mean? Okay. Um, so let me see. This one is, uh, are you willing to apologize to fans that you've heard either through name calling them on your live streams or inciting your fans to approach them negatively? And will you tell your fans to stop the harassment against those critical of the things you've said? I've already apologized twice. Have I not on this call? Yeah, you, you did. Did so, I not say that I, I had a call with my team last night? And I told them directly. Yeah. I want you to go to your social media accounts. I want you to delete any negative comments you've made to any other fans out there. And then I told them, I told them, if, if someone comes up and they want to attack me or my brothers, I do not want you to, to attack back. Good. I yeah, want you good. to share love. I want to come together and love and, and get the hate and the fight out. I've talked about that multiple times already tonight. Did I not? No, that's good. That's good that it, that if somebody is, you know, if they say something critical um, to you, you know, it's best to just, you know, leave that be and, and not not address them or, or tell people. And I learned that from Scott address Zelmer. That person. Again, another point I got from okay. Scott Zelmer. And I want to tell everybody on this line, even the ones that don't like me and these comments, I love every single one of you anyway. Okay, so I, all right, now we'll open it up to the questions on the floor. I, I saw some, uh, Dev, you asked something before. Um, uh, I didn't catch it before. Can you tag me again, and I'll and I'll ask it if if it's if it's a question you have there. We'll now we'll open it up to the chat here. Um, let me see. Uh, I'm looking through and see. Uh, uh, let me see. While you're looking, it's time for a gold rush, everybody. It's time for a gold rush. Let's get happy. Let's get together. Let's come together as a family. Let's stop right. fighting with one another. Can we do that? Right. So let's see. This this question is from Erlim. He says, why did you weaponize your fans to go after other content creators? Well, I think you kind of answered this. Uh, would you accept any damage caused? I guess would be the, the difference in that question. Um, I want to help people. I'm here to help save lives. I'm here uh, through Jesus Christ. Let, let me come. Like, it's not me doing it. I'm here to inspire, and I'm here to defend the people that are being bullied in this industry. That's what I'm here to do. And I'm going to continue to do that as long as I can. What's your favorite thing about Paramitis? Everything, baby. The ship, the sword, the, the, the color, the strength, everything. I, I, I feel very lucky. My brothers and I, if you really get a chance to meet us, you're going to notice we're very different. We love you guys. We really do. We're not intimidating as we seem to be. A lot of people at events, when we go to them, because there's three of us, they get intimidated by us. We're no different than you are. We love you. Come up to us. We just want to spend time with you. That's it. And it frustrates us that we don't get these conventions. We want to go to conventions all over the world. We don't know why we're not being invited. That's part of this whole thing that we think is going on. Oh. Let's see. Uh, Christine Drake says Russell, Russell was not the OG. Magnum is complaining. Why is why did it? I don't know what that means. Uh, let me see. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Uh, I'm trying to find something here. Uh, okay. Uh, what are your future plans for Gold Zio and when is your next appearance? We don't have any other appearances. Appearances. We had five appearances booked, and after Brenda went out lying across the world, they all canceled on us. Hmm. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Uh, looking to see what else. I mean, it's really. Um, I I think that's. Let me see. Uh, somebody's asking, will you apologize to Amy Jo Johnson for what you said about saying what she did online with breaking down and singing was just for her? I I don't First know. First of all, um, you know, most people don't can't tell us apart uh, with triplets. Uh, Tommy and I were on together when, when that happened. He made that comment. I will apologize for him. He didn't mean it in any, any malicious or mad, bad way. Amy Jo Johnson is one of the most popular, loved uh, OG, uh, uh, Mighty Morphin actors in the Power Ranger history. She was very sincere, and she was singing songs that Jason D the JDF loved. And yes, I take that back. That, that Again, we all say things sometimes that we don't mean. Uh, it was just, it, it, he didn't mean that. That's not how we are. 
We are God-fearing people. We love everybody, and we want to be there by your side. Okay. I'm sorry for him and for if it hurt anybody. Okay. All right, next question here says, will you unblock everyone you blocked out of discouragement for not agreeing with your beliefs or ideas? I'm not going to allow people to come on my site that, that is a site of love with hate. Okay. So if you're going to come on and you're going to hate and you're going to put out these crazy comments that, that, that are not acceptable on my site, you will remain blocked. Simple. All right. So, I mean, uh, what about people that are just uh, giving constructive criticism? Would you allow them? Certainly. If it's okay. constructive criticism and not hate. Certainly. All right. Um, okay. So somebody says, uh, let me see. What are your future plans for Gold Zeal and when is – okay, we already got that one. Uh, which is why yeah, once again, to... guys, after what's happened in, on the social media, uh, all the appearances that we had got canceled. Uh, because Brandon Benfield went on lying, we gotta, we gotta, we, yeah, let's, we let, let's, let's not go, let's, let's not, let's not, let's not keep well, it's not you know, right, rehashing that. Let's not keep it's rehashing not right. that. It's not right, dude. It's Again, you know, right. I, I don't believe that that's that's what happened, but I, you know, but you still don't you know, believe I think it. it's a okay. misunderstanding. I believe it's a misunderstanding. I really it's do. It's not a misunderstanding. It's, it's uh, it lies. says why? Why do you need credit and praise if you're concerned with saving lives? Credit and praise. Well, if you if you acted on a job. And you're you're an identical triplet. You're an OG Ranger, and no one wants to identify you that for that for, the, for what you've done. What yeah. would you do? Okay. So this person asks uh, Eric Williams asks, "What's your favorite memory at a convention or event that you were at a guest at ever since coming back to the Power Rangers community?" Oh, we have a whole bunch, it, it, and they, they mainly revolve around us giving our Go Ranger powers. We give Go Ranger powers the same scene that we gave to Jason uh, the, uh, Austin St. John. On Zio, we give those powers to fans, and it brings them to tears, and it and it brings us to tears, and it's just an amazing experience. We did a live chat with uh, Michael Bowling just this past week, and he we started talking, and he had some tears in his eyes, and we gave him the powers, and he felt great. A lot of the people that we give those powers to, they watch them over and over and over and over again. It makes a major difference in their life, and it bothers my brothers and I to the core that we're not able to go to these conventions to do that for fans. Okay, so uh, we'll take one more question here, and then um, you know uh, we're gonna wrap it up with you. Um, let me see, La Camara de, de Porel says, uh, "Question: If the PR community community acknowledges you as an OG, what do you expect after that? Do you expect any special treatment for being an OG?" See those these questions, like they they sound like like we we want something that we don't deserve, and that's not the truth. We want to be represented and acknowledged for what we did and nothing more. Okay. That's it. Okay. So we'll just, um, let me see. We'll go ahead and, and, and wrap it there then with, with the questions. But uh, Ted, th thank you for taking the time to, to come on. Um, you know, if, if you want to go ahead and, uh, you know, plug your, your social media there. Certainly. Go ahead and yes. feel free. Uh, 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 social media is uh, Instagram is Triplets to Filippo, uh, Triplets to Filippo, uh, Facebook, uh, YouTube, and uh, um, um, Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok is the Filippo Triplets. Our website is the, 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 the Filippo Triplets Enterprises.com. There's nothing but love for you here with us. We will stand by you. Uh, we do not accept hate speech or anger or any type like that. If you want to come on and do that, please don't come. But if you want to come for love, and support and and just to be part of a community we welcome you okay all right well we'll, we'll leave it at that all right ted um th thanks well, john, for I wanna, john i want to thank you first of all um i think that we came into each other's lives for a reason i really 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 appreciate that the the opportunity to come on and tell our story and to tell the truth and then and i also like the opportunity that we had the other day, you gave me so much um, information nuggets that I'm going to continue to use in this business moving forward. And I hope that we can stay in contact and that we can continue to to reach out to this Power Ranger community as best we can to, to, to come together as a family, as it should be. Once a Ranger, always a Ranger. It's time for a gold rush, baby. It's time. All righty. All right. Well, well, thank you, Ted. 
And you know, I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna chill with my chat here for a little bit afterwards. But thank you for taking the time being on. Uh, you have a good one, Ted. You have a good night, All right, man. Thank you guys. Good night. All right. All right. Um, well, I'm sticking around for a little bit. Um, I see that Chris is Christopher Cayman Lee still in the chat. Does Christopher Cayman Lee want to want to jump in here? Does anybody want to jump in here for kind of a little bit of a roundtable discussion for a little bit? Um, wow. Um, well, I mean. Look, I wish Ted all the best, um, guys. I, you know, I, I, I tried uh, the the best I could. That I hope. I, I don't know. I don't know what to make. I don't know what to make of. Um, uh, I, 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 you know, what I mean, I, I think there was there was, uh, you know, I was hoping for for some headway with certain things. Um, I, I'm not sure that. I'm not entirely sure we got there. Um. I, you know, I'd, I'd love to say, I'd, I don't know. I don't know. I, it really is not up to me. It's up to your perception of everything. Uh, obviously I disagreed with, with, uh, the sentiment that Brandon, Brandon, if you want to come in, man, I'll, um, uh, I'll, I'll bring you in here. Um, you know, if you want to respond to anything, I didn't bring you on while he was here because, you know, I think that would have ended up being, um, you know, not the best. Obviously he feels the way he feels about the situation. I didn't agree. I did not agree with with his assessment of it because, as you guys know, look, especially those of you that are um, uh, longtime subscribers of mine, you know, you know that I'm a facts and evidence guy, and I just did not accept that. I just I I can't accept. To me, it's about facts and substantiated evidence, and if you you know, what I mean, you know, I I'm willing to give the benefit of the doubt. I mean, obviously, um, Ted is convinced that he's right in the situation. He's convinced of what he's convinced of. You know, maybe he has something. So I'm not going to see. I'm not going to sit here and outright say that he's lying because maybe he does have some evidence that 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 um, that uh, proves what he's saying is true. Maybe he does. I don't know. But I, he, it, we didn't see it tonight. We didn't see it tonight. So um, and and from what's available publicly, I just I just cannot. Um, you know, I, I I can't I can't sit here and say that. Um, you know, that, that he's right because I, I, he just, he just did not prove it. I'm just being honest here. He just did not prove beyond a reasonable doubt of any of his claims. And, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I mean, it's just, you know, I, I was hoping again that, that, you know, that, uh, we would, uh, people are asking to bring Brandon on Brandon. Uh, I'll send him the link. If Brandon wants to jump in here, he could come in here for a bit. I want Christopher Cayman Lee in here, man. That's my boy. I want him up in here, man. I haven't talked to him in a minute. Hold on, Brandon. I'm going to send you the link through Insta. So we'll, we'll and uh, Air, if you want to come in here too, man, I'll have you in here as well. If you want a link, if I'll toss you out a link, if you, if you got the time to come in, I, I'm, I'm more than happy to have you on here too, man. My buddy, Air Lim. Uh, let me, uh, let me go ahead and toss Brandon the link. Um, Real quick here um and air if you want in let me know buddy uh yeah you do okay so i'm, I'm gonna have air come on as well um like i said um uh you know toku chris i saw in the chat earlier too i know he's feeling a little under the weather um if he wants to come in i i don't mind having him in here as well because uh the, the questions i asked were actually toku chris's questions uh those first couple questions that he had wanted to know so, uh, you know, I could toss him the link as well. Toku Chris, are you still here, buddy? If you're still here, let me know. If I, I know you're feeling a little under the weather, but if you want to come in and say a few words, I'll happily have you on as well, brother. Um, but let me see. Uh, let me send Erlen. Let me let me send him. It's my boy. Let me send him a link in here. Uh, yeah, I'll send Chris the link. Chris just got to hit me up on on Insta. All right. Uh, Toku Chris says that um, he'll hop in here for a little bit, but uh, Christopher came in Lee, if he wants to come in here too, I'm down to have him. Cause like I said, I love that guy. It's my boy. Um, I haven't seen him in probably like a year or two. What's up, Erlim? How you doing, buddy? Hello. Um, what the hell was all that? That to me Dude, was, uh... Uh, you know, look, here's the thing, man. You know, I know that some people wanted me to cut him off sooner, but at the same time, I, I wanted it. I, I, I wanted to give him a chance to speak so I could have my chances to rebuttal the certain things because I just wasn't going to accept, you know, uh, the narrative 
You know what I mean? And like I said, it, that's fine. You know, and again, I'm not, I'm not going to claim that he's, that he's lying about stuff because again, I don't know, maybe he has something, but at the same time, it's just like, I, I know Brandon. Um, and like I said, I, I'm an evidence guy, man. Facts. You know this about me. I'm a facts yeah. and evidence guy. Oh, snap. My boy, Christopher came and Lee in the house and we got Brandon What's up? too. What's up, gentlemen? I heard What's my up? name. Can you say my name? Nobody said your name, Brandon. Shut up. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, you know, we're gonna be able to we're gonna be able to see the chat because uh, I'm damn sure that uh, Teddy couldn't see it. Yeah, well, I mean, you should be able to see it on on YouTube. I mean, um, okay, yeah. So uh, here, let me let me put the YouTube for the for the actual link to the the YouTube and just pause the video. Just bring open it up in another window and just pause the video. Um, I'm gonna put in the chat right now. This is the (coughs) the link to the. to the stream right now as it's going so just open that up in another window if you guys have it man but ah uh, man you know my phone on me guys matter. you know I, I brandon i tried man i i tried i tried my, I tried my best. <laughs> you did your you did your best uh i i can i can really i can sum up a lot of what he was talking about if you guys want to take the time to hear it if you don't that's fine sure. i mean sure, dude. Uh, sure, all right yeah. let's, so let's address the banner um, or first of all, he wanted me to make him a banner. I made the banner. He said, I did not, uh, put the original gold ranger on it. He's correct. I did not do that in my first draft. Now I'm a graphic designer as well. It's what I do by trades, what I do for my full-time job. Guess what? I, uh, I did an advertisement today and guess how many times I revised that four times. He came back and said, I want the original gold ranger on it. I put it on there. It was on there. I have the file to prove it. If you guys want to see it, I'll send it to you. But really, it's not really it, whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's a process. I mean, it, what can I say? I mean, you know about that. But that's that's there's the facts there. Uh, he wants to talk about my character. All right. Well, um, I feel like I've been a pretty nice guy to everybody, fans, actors, promoters. I mean, I. You know, it's and I, I get I get that he was we it was frustrating between us. There was some tensions, yes. So let's let's address the firing twice. Okay. The first time he was, you know, frustrated that they weren't getting bookings. You know, you, you talked about uh you know promoters having a set budget on what they can do and who they can bring. It is very financially hard to bring in three flights, the three people on three flights that represent one character, (laughs) the original gold Ranger, by the way, which I did say in my, in my last stream of John at minute marker, 40 minutes and 30 seconds. I did say that he's the original gold Ranger. I don't know where he's getting that. I just that they were, weren't the original gold Ranger. You got that shit down to the second. Yeah. I mean, (laughs) he wants to he wants to keep saying that they're they're the ogs and that there's six ogs or sorry eight ogs the original six for their he's doing it color based right yeah there's the six colors and then he's saying that they're the original gold correct and that justin nimmo is the original silver correct there's like and a lot like, more originals other than that though that's just stupid right. there's a phantom ranger there's a purple ranger there's a, purple there's the, uh, navy the, uh, Qua- the quantum ranger yeah, you know, what Southworth. Just... He he's never said Southworth. He's the original Quantum Ranger. Right, Grant was we the just... first Purple Ranger. I mean, uh, Rhett was the first Titanium Ranger. It's like, yo, where the hell are all these people at? Right. We just learned today that Russell is the first Zenith Ranger. I mean, come on, dude. Like, you know, you, you want to say that I don't know anything about this? I know this like the Bible. Literally, yeah. ask me anything. I mean, well, sorry. That's why I brought that up. I'm like, that there's other, there are other firsts. You know, there are other religions. Hey, what's up, Toku Chris? How you doing, buddy? Hey, man, uh, I'm all right. How's everyone doing? Chris, it's nice good. to finally meet you, my friend. Hey, um, likewise. I've been seeing your posts on Twitter, and I just, it's been a week. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's for sure. So, so, yeah, no, that's why I brought that up, too, because I remember you had, you had gone down that list with me, too. I was like, because you're, because Brandon, I mean, look, I'll be honest. I mean, I've seen a lot of the seasons, but after I think the last, I think I only saw up to RPM, and I haven't seen anything else since then. So I, I I've been like disconnected from the shit for a while. Um, so um, you know, Brandon kind of, you know, when I when I spoke to him, he told me, oh, oh there's uh, this person was the first, this color, this color. I was like, holy shit, you know, what I mean, <laughs> there's been a bunch more since, you know, that I had no clue about. So 
yeah, that's why I brought that up because you had you had brought that up to me, and I was just like, damn, I I didn't know that. So, and then when it when it came to them firing me, this is how this all went. The first time they quote he quote unquote says he fired me, all they said that was that they were going non exclusive. I, I don't ask for exclusivity from anybody. Chris, do I ask you to be exclusive with me? No, I don't. Never once. Never once. I have, I have 91 clients. The only client that chooses to be exclusive to me is John Tui, and that's because he chooses to. I don't ever ask him for it, but he chooses to. Everybody else, you know, they can – I want them to get work. I want Chris to get work. I want – triples to get work whatever it's just you know if i can't do it then fine there might be somebody in washington state or oregon that i don't know that could pitch him a show go yeah, for it with your booking agent of course it's in your best interest to get all your clients work because this, this is more money <laughs> well exactly yeah, I mean, but you know there might be connections that i don't have that somebody else might and yeah. therefore they should be able to go and do a show without having to talk to me about it or ask me permission please go by all means go do it i want you to get yeah. work yeah but so, so just real quick because toku chris says he, he you know he's 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 only going to be on for a little bit because i know he's feeling under the weather man yeah, um uh, you know toku chris you I, I tried, brother. I tried. Uh, I, I and, and I, you know, I used the questions that you had sent me because, you know, I didn't see them till after the fact that I was like, oh, these are good. You know, I mean, I'll, I'll definitely uh, bring this stuff up. Um, well, I, I think, um, like I, I told you in DMs, it's like, you know, for two hours he he built himself up here to be, you know, it was misunderstanding. It's all good. And then I feel that in the course of like three questions, he revealed his his cards a little bit more. Um, you know, especially with the the JDF stuff, really, really, really oh. kind of pisses me off when he does it. But oh man, because uh, mm. that's just not right. But mm -mm. yeah, you know, you know that's you know, and and that's what was my big point is kind of like you know, it, it's, it's a it's a snake oil salesman is what he's doing, and using the passing of somebody to promote yourself that's that's not right. I don't care who you are. I don't care who the person is a past. You just don't do that. And yeah, no. No, that, that, that pissed me off, and I thought the answer to that question uh, revealed his character to the world. Damn. So, I mean, Chris, uh, Christopher yeah. came in Lee this mm -hmm. time. I mean, I mean, you're, you're you you have a, a completely different perspective on all this because you're you're an alumnus. I mean, you were part of the show. You yes. Know, what, do you, what do you think of this, man? Break it down for me, man. I think that he needs a lot of mental health, and I'm not saying that as a joke. I'm not saying that like to to uh, talk down about him or nothing like that but he is like for about a week now we've been watching this train wreck and it's just gotten worse and worse and worse and um and you know a number of these things that he said like he 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 says one thing then he contradicts it like three sentences later um he's he's and so far over the last week he's called out both mikey and scott and by the way, it's Scott Zillner, not yes, Zimmer. Yes, thank you. I've heard him say his name wrong every day now for almost a week. It's Zillner. But he's called out both Scott and Mikey. He calls out the actors for us for charging um, fans for anything at the con. And then he's also called out the fans because at one point he was talking about um, – a kid that uh, he, you know, he and his brothers are very close to uh, named Cody. Mm -hmm. And this kid was, um, I guess, bullied by uh, by other people in the fandom. I don't know why. I, I have never been able to figure out why, what this kid did or what happened or whatever. But you're calling out the people who run the cons. You're calling out the actors who, who attend the cons. And you're calling out the fans who go to the cons. Why do you want to be in the Power Ranger community then if you seem to hate everybody? Just... Mm -hmm don't have anything to do with it anymore, man. He, he doesn't seem to be having a good time with it. I don't get that. Yeah. It's, it was super confusing to me, especially when he was saying that nobody <laughs> knew who he was, but somehow he's also saying that he would be a big draw. I'm just like, okay, well it's, it's one or the other. It can't be both. That doesn't make yeah. any sense. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. can, I, can I make a comment on that? Good. He's, he's saying that they went on to other bigger franchises, right? Yeah. And that they, yeah. they got all these big major deals. Maybe that's so, but, I, I've seen the things that they've done. I, they, they play, they did a, what, maybe a 15 second bit part on Boy Meets World. Are yeah. they upset that they haven't been on that podcast yet? Or that, uh, why weren't they invited to the C2E2 reunion that they're yeah. about to have in Chicago? Um, step by step, 
They played, I think, three shirtless uh, butlers or something and carried Suzanne. Uh, why am I blanking on her name? Suzanne, what's her name? Help me, help me. Summers. Summers, Summers. thank you. Suzanne Summers through the living room or whatever. Yeah. How long was that? Like, they got four episodes of Power Rangers. And then they did a, 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 what was it? One of the major league movies that went direct to DVD. I, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. I, I will admit, Disney, I don't know. Film. Yeah. But, but two of them were in that movie, not three, just two of them. But I didn't even know there was a third major league movie. I thought there was just the first two. So I don't know where all these other projects are that he's talking about, like other than what I just said. Yeah. So, I mean, in a lot of ways, I guess the, the thing he would be known for the best is Power Rangers. So, um, which again, you know, and, and that's the thing I thought it was, it was odd that he didn't think that, cause I mean, to me, look, um, I believe in out of sight, out of mind. Um, and the thing is yeah. he was out of the community for, if you, if the first time back was in 2012, that's a long time to be away. If the, if the last time you were on the show was in 1996. Yeah. Um, so, and by then, you know, you know, by 2012, uh, Rangers had already been started doing conventions before that. So there was people already making the rounds and keeping themselves, um, uh, in the consciousness of the fandom. And then you, you talk about having another 20, you know, 10 year break in between. I mean, yeah, that, I think that kind of is a factor in all of this as well. well uh, they so, got, I think something similar like this happened around that time. Something happened with Ranger board and messages and something like that, where they were arguing with people there. And mm -hmm. then, and it was kind of the same situation. Yeah. I, look, I I am all about giving people second chances. You you guys know this. I I yeah. like I told you on the last stream. I I kind of knew about that, and I still pursued them. I yeah. I we, you know we talked about having Dude, Samuel you, Benta. you pursued Samuel Benta, right? I would. And I you would were the first them. person I knew that did that. You just, and you did it fiercely. You did it years ago. You started years ago doing that. I remember, man. When you when you even talked about it. Yeah, and then like before you yeah. put out his video, remember before he put out his video giving his side of the explanation, you were already throwing that idea around. He's like, you know what? I think right. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to Benta, and people and, are like, what? <laughs> and we've 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 spoke. He he's an all right guy. I I've never had an issue with him. Um, like seems like a pretty solid guy. I know I know there are people that feel differently, and and look, we don't have to talk with them right now about that. You know, whatever. But I would, you know, I'm just gonna throw this out there too. I would laugh. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. Like I said, I believe in forgiveness and giving people second chances. Everybody. Yeah. And I would love, I mean, Ricardo, dude has, mm -hmm. you know, dude did his sentence. He's out. Okay. That we shouldn't be, I feel like, and again, people might think I'm wrong for this and I'm sorry if you feel that way. And I, I don't mean to offend anybody, but I apologize but, for nothing, for nothing. Right. Well, okay. But I mean, sent, you know, time served, whatever. That was that situation. And, you know, there are still fans, like I said last night, that they're that they're watching the show and discovering this for the first time. And they see that that their cast coming to the uh, convention. It's like, you know, they would want to see that person. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I tried with these guys. I tried getting them work. I, ask Chris. I, I was pitching ideas to them and DJ about a storyline for them for Bloodline and for, you know, their channel. Yeah. yeah. I believe you, dude. Like I said, because I know, I know <laughs> that's the thing. You you've always gone for, you know, and I know that that you believe in forgiveness and stuff, man. Because I, I, like I said, with the whole Benza thing, I remember when you when you were throwing that idea around. And I was like, I'm down, bro. Do it. You know what I mean? If you could, if you get them, man. Um, so I I know I I know that that, that you're all about them and you're all about second chances, dude. You you've given third chances, dude. Right. Well, and yeah, they also fourth chances. They also are, are claiming that I'm all about the money. I would love to see this money. Like, where's this money? Because and I'm, 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 I'm saying I'm saying this not to make people feel bad for me. I'm just stating the facts. My bank account is negative three hundred dollars right now. I had to sell my guitar that I love so much for Christmas. Uh, sorry, I had to sell my guitar around Christmas just so we could make it up to Michigan and have a nice Christmas with my parents and get them gifts. I am still upset with that about that. And I'm still trying to figure out how I can get it back. If I'm all about the money, why am I having these, you know, problems? Again, I'm not yeah. trying to make anybody feel bad for me, but that's what I'm dealing with. And I would love to see where they think that I'm all about the money because that is not true. I have mm -hmm. always said to my clients that, hey, let's get the show out of the way. Let's let's make sure that you have a great show and let's make sure the fans can get to you and that they know you're coming. We'll talk about our money at the end of it. We'll wait. We'll yeah. we'll, we'll square up at the end. I don't need 
to have any kind of money up front. That's that's never been a thing either. So this guy in chat says, "Go fund me for Brandon." <laughs> <laughs> that is that, that is, is not what Daniel. That is my yeah. boy Daniel. Daniel Daniel is a guy that was actually. Um, he he works on bloodline with me he's um he's like basically our prop master he's our he, he's oh, like nice. the head of everything behind the scenes he he takes care of all all kinds of shit for us he's a good man a really good man and uh he actually had told um dj and i um before this whole week of a train wreck uh happened he told us before that he was like yeah um i i, I don't think that you're gonna want to have them in bloodline they're not or at least not all of them, but some of them are not very professional and all that. He kind of like saw this coming. Um, not like word for word what was going to happen, but uh, he did like kind of let us know that, yeah, uh, don't, don't, don't have them on bloodline. And I was like, okay. Yeah. Whatever, uh, Tommy Trader says, Brandon doesn't get enough credit for his hard work. And I'm not asking for it. I really, I appreciate all the messages that I've gotten from you guys with the support, but really it's just, I, I'm doing this for you. I mean, he's, he's out there saying that he's saving lives and, you know, trying to bring them to Christ. Look, I'm a, I'm a God fearing and believing man myself, but you know what? I'm doing it in a way that I, I want to bring you guys closer to your dreams. I'm going to, I'm going to tell a story right now that like one of the most, the best moments that I've ever had doing what I do I was at a I was at a comic shop in Fort Wayne with Jason Font and we were sitting there and this guy comes up and he's in military garb or whatever and he's like look he's like I watched this show with my dad when he was in the military and you know he went to Vietnam and I was in Iraq we both coped with what we had to go through by bonding um and watching Time Force together and watching you and now my dad has passed away and I still continue to watch it in his memory it is those kind of stories and those kind of connections that I'm trying to bring to these conventions. That is how I am being Jesus to people, if you will. And, I, and it's not even about me. I don't want my name out there. I, I didn't want any of this. I, I want Chris's name out there. I want fans to be able to meet Chris. I want them to be able to have the experience. You know, they might have been going through something, depression, whatever. And you know what? They could turn on in space and just escape from this reality and just be in the, in it with them. You know, that's what I care about. That's what I've always cared about. Yeah. So you want to talk it, about my character? I just, dude, I, it's not about me at all. It never has been. Yeah. So let me, let me ask some of the other panelists here, you know, um, cause Eric, you haven't said anything, but um, what was your overall thoughts on, <laughs> on what we just witnessed there? Because I know, I, I know you had told me a little bit like, Oh, I, I got some words, <laughs> you know, see most of the stuff I can't remember now, but, it's just the way i mean the thing where he was going about brandon about the the money thing and he's just like yeah so brandon's got like 70 guests so he went into the green room and then you know half an hour later we walked in and you know he's doing it i was like if he's got 70 people and he's talking to the people going like he's like, yeah can i get this for for this person this person it's gonna take time like yep. and the way that i was seeing it is like he's not gonna go can I get them uh, for the triplets? Then run out and go. There's your money. I've got you in like two seconds because I'm guessing there's some sort of kind of procedure for it to go through. Like they go, like, "Yep, that's all done," and it passes through. But I think what was like he keeps going on about. So this moving on from the the money thing. But when he was going, like, no one remembers me. No one does. It's like any fan remembers that there was triplets. Like the the whole scene of the Gold Ranger coming in, and I was just like, "Is this guy?" Like for real, like people walking past him, no people would speak to him and, and talk to him, but it just kept going round in circles. And when he was going on about Google, like I actually thought, did he actually just type in original Gold Ranger at that time yeah. when Google probably didn't have enough information that then yeah. popped up and went, Oh, here you go. Uh, yeah, Austin St. John played it, um, Brad played it, and then literally, if you typed in Tray of Triforia, then obviously that becomes different because now if you type in original Gold Ranger. He comes up everywhere. And even in that uh, book ish thing that I sent you, they actually acknowledge it and the name is out there. And it's just infuriating because I think that he doesn't know what how to work the internet. And it that kind of is a bit like dangerous in sort of way. Um, other things I'm just trying to think off the top of my head was the whole thing of like telling people to like if you don't if you disagree with me, go go and get them. Like 
And I generally kind of thought, what happens if one person goes off the off the rail, starts bullying, starts going after someone, and then when you go like, why are you doing this? It's like, oh, the original Gold Ranger did it. I'm like, yeah. Well, I think you know he says he's walked that back as of now, but I, I, you know, I, we'll see what happens. I guess within the next, you know, couple of days, see if anything changes there. Um, you saw though, like. It was weird, like to, to, to your point of what you mentioned earlier. There, you saw what I asked, and I was like, "Dude, people remember your character. The diehard fans, the people that watched the show from day one. You know what I'm saying? That that were consistent with the show. They know who you are, dude. Yeah. And you saw the ones in the chat. People know. He's like, ah, nah. You know, it's like, bro, they're, they're right here. Yeah. It's just like that. I wish you would have been able to see the chat. You know what I mean? It's, it's just like I don't know. I do. Well, he gets this idea that it's just like that nobody knows who Trey of Triforce is. They do know who Trey, like I said, it's just like maybe, you know, the casual fans have stopped watching after, you know, again, Mighty Morphin that, you know, they called it quits. They called it a day after that. <clears throat> Don't know him, but the people that stayed with the show, uh, come on, man. They yeah. they know. Hey, right? John. Hey, John, really quick. Um, I've got uh, DJ Marvel, Dane Mitchell wanting to come in. Can I send him the link? Um, I We're at capacity right now. Um, uh, I can I'm, leave. I'll be back later. Well, I was going to ask for your thoughts on, on that aura. Cause I know you got it. This, this is my co-host, by the way, guys, origami is, you know, he's, he's my co-host at times. Uh, what do you got to say, bro? What do you got to say about that? Cause <laughs> it I was a lot of fun. That was a roller coaster. <laughs> that was a roller coaster, John. I loved it. It was a great ride. It had lots of ups and downs. Everything was confusing. It sounded like a quintuple down uh, for the most part. So it's a quick breakdown for me, <laughs> but it was a, a great ride, John. I loved it. I loved every minute of it. I know you love the remit, bro, but I, I know you got something else. I know you got another nugget there, bro. Something good that you want another to add. Nugget? He's crazy. Whatever. He's crazy. <laughs> I think he's crazy. He's crazy, John. That's what happens. I told you. Stop Stop talking to everybody. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, but you did a good job. You did a good job. You're a good man. Oh, uh, man. All right. All right. Well, well okay. if, if you want to come back in uh, you know, later, let me know. Yeah, send, you can send uh, Dane the link, though, if you want, uh, Brandon, and I'll get him yeah. in here. How about y'all take care. Bye. All right. Talk to you See later. You yeah. So, and, and look, I got to give, you know, a shout out here to DJ Chris or um, I'm sorry, Toku Chris. I, I mixed DJ Marvel and, and, and Toku Chris there for a moment. Uh, those were great questions that he asked. Um, Cause those were his questions. Actually, the ones that, that I, that I read to Ted were, were quiz were questions actually that Chris had sent me a couple days ago. Um, so props to Chris for that. Uh, doing that good reporting work. Um, I just I wanted to make sure that some of that stuff that gets glossed over, you know, because there's a lot of references to, oh, I have, you know, hundreds of thousands of fans on Instagram. It's like, yeah, and they all showed up in the last 30 days. Uh, <laughs> and they have five mm -hmm. followers and all follow 6,000 people each, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, things like that. But I think um, the biggest thing to take away or that I take away from all this, despite uh, like what Chris said, the obvious mental health issues that I really do hope uh, him and his, at least his brother Tom, uh, at some point get that help that they need. I think, I think Tim mm. might be a little bit more on the stable side, but um, <clears throat> there's a disconnect between where they feel they should be and where they are. Like they don't get that just because they represented a popular character that doesn't make them popular, right? Like Chris, like you played Andros, you played an, an like, iconic character who had a great storyline and was in every single episode. They represented a popular character, but the most famous thing that they're known for is being voiced by somebody else and then passing the powers on to a more popular actor. Yeah, so that's, they, were, that's a... they were in five episodes as the Gold Ranger, and Austin was in 19. Yeah. Brad he did four and Brad was Brad was their voice whenever they whenever they spoke. So Austin himself, he did he did four times as much work as them for the character. And yeah. and you know, forget all that. Who gives a shit about that? One thing I like he keeps saying, and it's it's pissing me off. It's really annoying the shit out of me, man. The OG Rangers are the original Mighty Morphin guys. Yes, thank that you. That is yes. coming from me. Yes. Okay. I was a Fucking Power Ranger, I'm allowed to say this. They were <laughs> the OG Rangers. Yeah. That's that's it. So it doesn't matter what the hell color you were afterwards. And you know, another funny thing is that every time he mentions the OG Rangers, he, when the hell has he ever said Zordon? He hasn't said Dave Fielding yet. Yeah. I haven't heard him say anything about Zordon. Mm -hmm. Not once has he mentioned him. Isn't he kind of 
important to the series? No, right. no, it's all about the colors. You know, it's all about that's all it's about. It's it's just you know, oh, well, we were the first gold one. Who gives a shit if you were gold? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Your outfit well, was mostly black, anyways. Shut right. Well, and he, and he, 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 he was calling me out on his Instagram the other day because I had said Karen, Cat, Johnny, and Steve are originals. What I said, literally, again, what I said on the 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 thing, you can go play it back. I literally said the original six, you could say, are like a team, like original A, and then those four are like original B. But then in the season three, they had the Alien Rangers, which you could almost say they're the original C. They were all still a part of the original Mighty Morphin series. Like, they are yeah. still in the original series. Like, right. you know, whatever. I mean, they want to keep going on about color. Okay. But, you know, we could we could show you bar graphs of everything, man. Like, we could show you the original era, the original season, the original series, the original logo, the original yeah. butt crack. Whatever you want to see, man. Like, they're... Yeah. Well, that's what I was trying to explain to the the the, uh, the distinction, right, between what it means to be an OG. You know what I mean? Because I, I, you know, I think he misunderstands it and thinks that people are trying to say that he's not original. That, that's the part. Of, look, it's not that you're not the original person to portray that that color, right? When people in the fandom, you know, when they hear OG, they think first team, first show. Right. That's what that means to them. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean that you know you're dismissed as the the original person that portrayed that color when it was your time to portray that 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 color, right? It just means when for the fandom when they hear OG, they think first season, first team. That's it. That's all it means. It, it has nothing to do with color. It has yeah. only to do with the fact that they were the first ones that were called Power Rangers. That's it. That's it. That's all that is. So. You know, like, go ahead, DJ. What's up? <clears throat> what's Wait, up? What's in up? the house. Welcome, bud. Hey, th thanks. Uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks course, for having man. me. Um, so they were talking in circles. Um, <laughs> yeah. like I got mad busy listening to them. Um, every time they said anything about an OG, the only thing I could think of was Death Row Records. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh damn! They what's that they claim? What? No, <laughs> right. But anyway, he um, says that shit more than the people from Watts say. OG, bro. He I said mean, that shit that Dre did in all of the '90s in the right. last 96 hours. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think he actually, I think he actually means that OG. It doesn't mean original gangster. I think he means it, it means original gold. So that's why you just keep saying that shit over and over again. Maybe. Maybe. Well, that and obviously, like OG, OG has like become a, a like just an abbreviation for original. Like, I mean, I really feel like that's yeah. what it's become. I mean, but yeah. I'm sitting here wondering, like, is there like some kind of alternate universe where uh, Sesame Street fans are arguing about <laughs> Elmo not getting that screen time and that they think they weren't original? I mean, just. I mean, can we just, I, I said this yesterday, but can we just pause and just realize that this is all fiction? Like, why are yeah. we... Kermit is OG, man. Right. Don't even start me on Sesame Street. <laughs> <laughs> like, why are we... The why Muppet are, Show, baby! Why are we all just, like, having having just, like, all of this pro all these problems over a fictional television show? Like, I mean, well, this, this is more drama than wrestling, for crying out loud. I don't even watch wrestling. <laughs> First of all, as someone who kind of dabbles in wrestling, no, it's not. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> but like no this is this is not this is the only reason i say that though is kind of to piggyback off of what was what chris was saying not only do they need help but the fact that while in their cries for help they're denouncing the very structures that are in place to help people i think that that mm -hmm. makes this all jokes aside way more serious than anything about a color, anything about feeling slighted. Like once you cross that threshold, especially for me, I'll be honest. I'm very open about this. Ben Field knows that, but you know, I'm going through my own mental health journey. I've been in therapy. It'll be, it'll be three years in July, <laughs> which is crazy to think about. Cause it feels like it was just yesterday, but yeah, no. And I just now got it to where I'm every other week. I was every week for two years, Monday at three o'clock. So as somebody who knows what, how beneficial that's been for me personally, for them to then take this, 
what Benfield said, this trivial conversation about a fix, a fictitious show, a kid's show, really, mm-hmm. that to take it to that point where you're talking about the 988 suicide helpline is not going to help and to, you know, like mm-hmm. therapy isn't going to help and they know what you need. And then saying that these mm-hmm. powers from, again, a fictitious children's show is going to do more good for people who are actually out here struggling with some real shit that they may or may not feel comfortable getting help with. Like that's just very dangerous rhetoric. And I think that if any of us really, if we put all the other bullshit aside, we know professionally they're probably done. Let's just keep it a buck. We know that we've seen that over the last 96 Mm -hmm. hours, but I think that anybody in this, in our group here and in the chat, who's watching and texting all that good stuff. What up y'all? Um, I think the important thing that we need to take away from this is, is that that is so dangerous and that is so wrong to even just, that's such a fucked up hill to die on Mm -hmm. where people are really, we, we've seen it with, you know, for you guys, friends and with a friend and with a childhood idol for a lot of us, uh, like we saw the dangers up close and personal. Yeah. As far as what can happen when that shit goes unchecked. So for me, I think the real travesty, amongst other things, but the real travesty that needs to be talked about right now is that everything, everything that they were saying as far as that, as far as the mental health aspect and as far as getting help and as far as getting a licensed trained professional to help you sort your shit out, that is so dangerous and wrong. And we need to make sure that we stay on top of that message. Before some, they're going to fuck around and somebody's going to really get hurt thinking mm-hmm. that they can fix their problems. That's so, yeah. that's dangerous. It's really yeah. dangerous. Yeah. And, you know, and like secondary even to that, you know, it's even, uh, you know, it, it's sadder because, you know, again, there's, there's, I know that there's fans. I know, uh, you know, Toka Chris is a big Gold Ranger fan. And I know this is, you know, uh, you know, it, it, I remember when Toka Chris used to have um uh, the Gold Ranger as his like you know avatar on his you know on, on his you know his profile picture and stuff like that, and uh, you know it's like it's people that are fans like that that want to you know they want to meet they want to meet him. I, I don't know about now, but you know they did they 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 wanted to meet him, and there might still be people that that do want to meet him just for the sake like like how you Brandon you're like a completionist when it comes to wanting to meet every ranger. Right. Yeah. And there's still, there's people like you, you know what I mean? And and now with all this, it's just like now it looks it, it's it's going to be much harder, it, if ever at all, that anybody's going to get a chance now. And, and all, I got, all I got left is Brad, man. That's all I got left. That's all that's, all that's left. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just it's one of those things. It's like that's that that I think is also one of the bigger disappointments uh, with what's happened recently, too, is is that is the fact that I know that there's. And it's something that I told them uh, when me and him spoke. It's just like, look, there's people that that want to meet you. You know what I'm saying? Even despite what's happened, I'm sure there's still people that want to meet you. You know what I mean? And it's just, you know, I, I tried, guys. I tried. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I that's know. all you can do, though. Yeah, but, I mean, so. it's just, I don't know. It's just, it is super disappointing. It was yeah. super entertaining until that came up. Because yeah. it's like, yo, what the fuck are they talking about? Like, I've yeah. never laughed so hard. Bro, yeah. do you well, know that? Is, do you know that? These, do you know that these dudes fucking streamed, live streamed as long for like the entirety of the football game I was watching <laughs> Saturday night. Do you know how fucking long an NFL football game is? Yeah, you were streaming, bro. They were streaming through the post game. They were streaming through me cruising YouTube on my TV, trying yeah. to look at you know highlights and trying to get my bets ready since you know Ohio. Sports they're uh, they're streaming right now too. Huh? Yeah, they are. They're, they're live streaming yeah. over on his page. Yeah, but see, I don't even want to. But see, I feel like, like you, it's a, it's a train wreck. Yeah, I forgot who said that. I think Chris it. said it. It's a train wreck. But we really shouldn't be giving this shit any more energy. Because oh no, that, that's it's... the thing. That's the thing. I'm. It's pretty much. I mean, I don't know what else. What else can be done, right? I mean, you were on the on the last stream, Dane. You saw. I mean, to be. What do we do after the fact? We just after Brandon and and, and Scott dip. We're just like fuck it. Let's, let's just roast. Yeah. And, is, and I was trying. And and just just for for people that are first timers here in the chat. Prior to me, uh, prior to this stream, I did speak with Ted. We did have a call, as he said. And I let him know. I told him straight up. I was like, dude, if you watch the rest of the stream, I'm going to tell you right now, we roasted you, dude. 
we had a, a good laugh at your expense. I let him know everything, dude. I said, I, I told him I didn't say nice things about him, all that. I let him know because, you know, I wanted him to understand. I'm, I'm just a transparent guy. I, I let it be known from the bat. I said, and I let him know. I was like, yeah, I didn't have nice things to say. And I'm going to be, I'm going to be honest with you. I apologize for nothing. I said, I stand by everything I said. And I still do. And I still um, do. And, I, that, and, I, and that's, and I can still have a civil discussion with the guy. Right. You know, if, if, if need be, you know what I mean? So my wife was wanting to say something. I, I hope you guys can hear me. Okay. Yeah, I just, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I, I'm the, the, the MRS over here. I am, uh, I, you know, knew Power Rangers when I was young. Brandon brought me back into it when I met him and fell in love with him. Oh, I live <laughs> the Power Ranger life because he lives the Power Ranger life. I'm yeah. not one that knows everything he does. But I want to make two points just from my observations. Okay. The first one being Brandon doesn't have time to badmouth anybody. He is got a 40 hour a week job minimum it, and that doesn't include if overtime is asked of him he does graphic design work he does the agent work and then he does his damnedest to be a good husband to me he made me dinner tonight like i worked came home came home to a hot meal because he is a loving and caring guy he does not have time to worry about whether these people get an appearance or they don't he doesn't have time to badmouth people to try to hurt them to this whole they lost five events thing is a lie and if they did lose it they did it on their own accord because of what they did yes and then my mm -hmm. second point that i would really just ask for those that have you know commented that I've, I've been here reading and i've been listening those that are saying they're lying and they don't believe in this and this isn't true and you guys think it's funny and everything this is a mental health problem that he's having mm -hmm. and the less amount of people that are watching him, I'm hoping he tapers off, tapers off and stops doing these lives and stops bashing not just my husband, who I've got my claws out for right now, but Kat, Nakia, Mikey, Scott, all these other ones that they work their butts off. They And they don't deserve someone who has sat back for 20 years to come in and expect to be treated the way that someone who's been there and tenured to do. And so I just, that's my plea. Quit giving them an audience. You know, just, it, he's only saying the same things over and over and over again. You've heard it. Yeah. You know what he's going to yep. say. You know why he thinks what he thinks. We've heard it. Can we just please move on? And that's to clarify what she's saying. She's not asking for people to unfollow them. She's not asking for people to bash them. No. He will probably come back and say that she is and that I have been. I have not. As a no. matter of fact, I've seen all the negative comments. I've seen all of it. And I have never once necessarily endorsed it. Now I, I get that people feel the way that they do. And I'm never, I'm not going to take that away from you. But after all of this, I have, I have commented on his stream saying, look, man, I'm, I'm sorry if you think that I did these things to you, but the truth is, is that I, I, I didn't have ill intentions. I did. I, I, yes, I did send him a text message saying, Hey man, I'm ready to talk and work this out whenever you are ready to talk and work this out. Because like I said, I'm a forgiving person. Now I'm not a doormat. I will not accept the things that have happened in the past like they have, but I, I I'm not, I, I'm not going to hold a grudge. You know, I'm not that person. I really yeah. am. I'm not. And he, he tried to say that the other clients have fired me. I have had situations where people have, you know, left and gone to other agents and th there was two others and they came back because yeah. I mean, we had a bond. It, I, it wasn't just professional and okay. See you later. It, you know, I, I do my best, you know, and yeah. Chris, I even feel bad. I haven't gotten you a show in a while. I, I need to work harder on that. And I admit it, you know, damn and, right you do, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it's just one of those things where it's like, you know, it, even this, even, even him going on like now, is taking away from me building Jazz's website. You know what I mean? It's like it's 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 energy that's being put into something that doesn't need to be put into. And it, it like she said, you know, and it's just it's it's sad. It sucks. And yeah. I don't understand how you can go on and say all these horrible things about Mikey and Ranger Stop and Scott and and Power Morphicon and then Kat and Akia, Steve and Johnny and Austin, but then apologize to all of them for all of the things that you have said and then feel justified by saying, I'm not apologizing to Brandon. I'm not going to do it. I won't do it. It's like, 
Yeah, that's that's so wild to me, man. Especially because I know you, man. That's what makes it. That's what. That's why it's so like it's so wild. Like, why does he have such? You know what I mean? The accent, because I, dude, I, you know what I mean? I know the kind of person you are. I'm just like, what? What is it about? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what is it about Brandon that you can't like let go? You know what I mean? It's that's that's crazy to me. Hold on, let me get this. Uh, our buddy James Griffiths. What's up, Griff? Coming in here saying, uh, John, do you remember the Gold Ranger piece I did? I wanted Trey in it as well, but the three brothers were never around. They should have built themselves up more over time. Gone for 10 years. Oof. So You know what? Uh, yeah, he brings up a really point. good point because yeah. that's another thing. The whole entitlement, which, again, could be a root of the whatever they're going – whatever he's going through mentally. I don't want to – well, that's why I brought that up too. I brought that up to him too. Um, was like, well, look, you took a lot of breaks in between too. I mean, you're look, um, in a lot of ways, look, you're you're, you're only going to be as relevant as as much as you put yourself out there, right? Um, mm-hmm. And the thing is, he, here's here's one thing, man. There's there's people I've seen, and this this goes beyond like Ranger actors. This is just you know this this goes to <clears throat> voice actors, whoever that have built up such a strong and they're not necessarily the most popular, but they built up such a strong rapport with fans that people ask them like, like Scott McNeil, for example, right. Voice actor for Piccolo. Um, when it was, uh, I believe the ocean dub for Dragon Ball. Um, and that guy, um, you know, he, you know, not one of the bigger, bigger names, but you know, known, known in the voice acting industry, but he's built up such a loyal fan base um that when he gets like invited to shows he's got a good sizable amount of people that still come to see him even though he's done a lot of shows you know what i mean he's been, he's been around to a lot of different anime shows but that's more because of how he's been with his fans you know what i mean he's built up this relationship and and continues to build up relationships with fans that um even though he's not necessarily one of the more more popular guys you know what i mean he's popular at conventions because of that if that makes sense. Yeah, you know? no, it does. So, so I mean, when you, my mom, thing, whole, yeah, with right. them, they could have, they possibly could have done that too. They could have, you know, and you, just by going, you know, by that, by the consistency, you know, even if they're not the most popular ranger, right. They could become popular among, among the fandom and, and convention goers just by showing up, being there, you know, building that relationship with them, you know, having fun. Yep. So, so I think my mom, my mom told me something when I was a kid, and I use this to this day. I I just turned 36 back in November. Um, life is infinitely easier when people like you. And that plays so much into what you were talking about. Like, okay, this guy may not be the most popular, but if he's one of the coolest people on the comm floor, that's going to up his value at shows. They yeah. could have totally done yeah. that. And they could have put in the work and they could have not had the the entitlement of hey we tagged you in this and you didn't share it like man look i do recorded mixes all the time like i i don't even really tag people in them i make my posts of course but if i were to tag somebody in it you know i got a better example i have a press kit so whenever i'm trying to get on get a gig be it a con or whatever i have a pdf document that has my information my where how i got my start my experience my resume and then testimonial quote and i have testimonials from three pretty big rangers that we all know in the con circuit and you know how i got those it wasn't by tagging them in something and then expecting them to just come through i asked yeah and I, I knew I was asking a favor. And for some people, that's a tall ask. For one of them especially, it mm-hmm. it was kind of a tall ask. If we look at it at you know surface value, it was a tall ask. And they did not have to do it. Mm-hmm. But I messaged them. I'm like, you know what? I've gotten two. And I sent emails and sent the text message to the third. And literally, I'm at the bar when I sent this. And mm-hmm. 10 minutes later, I went like my best friend in life. And I look at my phone. And there's a text message. And it has the quote. They didn't have to do that. People yeah. don't have to do these things. If people like you and people want to see you win, which I think people did because they were getting a lot of looks up until all this. They were on Kat and Nakia's YouTube show. Font was on one of their streams. Like they like they've been getting looks. But the fact that they were just so 
like that entitlement was just so weird to me because it's like, oh, you want you want all the accolades and don't want to get your hands dirty. Yeah. And that's that's not cool. And whatever the reason may be, even if it is mental health, which I wholeheartedly believe it is, I my wife and I talk about this all the time. If I do if I do or say something and I'm in the middle of a mental health crisis, okay, that's the reason. It's not an excuse. Yeah. You have to you have to take that you have to take that ownership and not just of your actions but take ownership of your brand. If I want people to know me, it's my job to get myself out there. Now, yeah. obviously people can help and that's cool, but for me to expect that of let's say for example since it's all of us in here, any of you guys in this chat right now, if, if I were to expect you after this live to share my DJ Facebook page, share my IG I'm, I'm not a fool. I'm a new fool. Who the hell am I to expect that of y'all? Yeah. Do the work. Yeah. Ask people. See, yeah. If you're cool, people will do a lot for you. Life is so much easier in chat. Take yeah. notes. You're dropping gems. Yeah. Life is so much easier when people mm. fucking like you. Simple. So I think. The, the, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go, go ahead, buddy. Uh, um, the way that I've kind of seen all of this from when it first started is it feels like. They want to say like, oh, we're we're the OG, and then all of a sudden, they want to have everything for free. Like they want to be given everything. Like, oh, uh, you should invite me to the cons because there was something on um, the fan club when he did a video. He, uh, the triplets or Ted uh, turned around and said like, uh, if you invite me to a con and it's full, get rid of one of the other Ranger actors and have me instead. And I generally thought, why do you want everything to be handed to you on a silver platter? And I think that they've got it in their heads, or he's got it in his head, that because he's an OG, that he needs that special treatment. He needs that thing of like saying, like, oh, you need to promote me, but I'll go to all the other Rangers that are going to this convention, you know, and you've got to promote me. Like, everyone's got to put a post up saying, like, oh, me sharing the powers with Austin, or you know, saying that we're going to this convention. And yet, I feel like if you ask them a question, like say in a couple of months, like, oh, you know, we've got a new new Ranger actor, he's just started, or they've just started, they'd be like, we're not sharing anything, like get rid of them. And it's this massive entitlement that they've got all the way through that just it irritates on a level. And it's like that, I hate to use it, maybe that diva level where it's just like, I'm important, you're not. So get these three out of here and put us three inside because we need this more. And, you know, they were happy going on Nakia and, and Kat's thing. And they were saying like the reason why they left the the industry is because one of one of their why uh, one of the brothers' wives, now ex wife, um, said that they didn't want them to act, so they all just disappeared like from that whole thing from Zio. And I'm sure that's pretty much what he said on the stream. And I was just like thinking, if you're taking yourself out of that public eye, don't expect everyone to bend over backwards like your 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 previous castmates to then be like oh welcome back into the fold like you can say like oh cool maybe the first one gets sent out like oh they're going to be at power morph they're going to be at range stop whatever but then they don't have to like promote them at all and the way they're thinking is like shit we, you need to do this if not you know you're a bad person and and you're going to this and blah 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 and i think that they put it in their head and i'm guessing that maybe in a year two year they'll go back and go shit shouldn't be of doing that Damn. yeah see and that's and then, the thing oh i'm sorry go ahead good oh, no, that's it really oh no i was gonna it, it, and and that's what i mean i and i had mentioned it before uh when we were on with scott remember brendan i said you know if if one of your other former castmates or whoever um promotes you that is a courtesy not an obligation that is a courtesy that they're doing for you um mm -hmm. and and if we look at it by and large the best kind of promotion <laughs> is self-promotion shameless self-promotion is the best kind of promotion um and a lot of people do it and, and the thing is if like and i know kat and akia they they promote each other but there's there's a caveat to that they're best friends okay mm -hmm. it goes beyond just them being castmates they're like sisters okay they spend they spend personal time together and they have other friends too that they'll happily promote you know what i mean because they're friends it goes beyond that it goes beyond them being on a show together 20 some odd years ago they have a relationship outside of that. So they want to help each other out. And it's, and and one of the things that I had uh, spoken about, I was like, if you have those kind of relationships, you know, I'm sure people will, will do that for you, but it's not something that you can just expect. You can't just come out of the woodwork and just expect people to do this for you. I mean, you've been out of, exactly. You've been, you've been out of the public eye for this long. You said, 
you know, at, on his Instagram, he posted the video uh, 26 years later, you know, meeting Austin again. If it's been that long since you've seen him, I mean, come on, you know, it, again, you know, it, it obviously shows that you're not, you know, you weren't hanging out every weekend talking, you know what I mean? Having barbecues together, you know? So it, if you build those kind of relationships with people, I'm sure they'll happily do it for you, but it's not something that should be expected of them. Well, and to even bring it in, even to be more relatable to them, Justin Nimmo has a very similar story. He left Hollywood to go home yep. to Oklahoma. Um, cool. You know, he was away. He was a su su successful business owner. Mm -hmm. Didn't necessarily need cons, but, you know, he wanted to get back out there to reach the fans. But he didn't come back demanding that Chris or Selwyn or Roger post stuff for him. Obviously, they did it because he's a great guy. And, you know, I helped him get started with his prints and everything. I mean, but there was never any, like, like there was never anything like this. There was never any expectation of, well, you'll just do it for me or you'll you'll get me out there and I don't have to do anything about it. No, he did it himself. Like, and he was great about it. Yeah, and Chris, I, you had me. I was I was the one that got him to do uh, cons. Yeah, that's what exactly. I mean. Well, and there you go. I had, I to, mean, Chris, relationship I had to talk him. him into it. I, I had to talk yeah. him into it. I was. He was like, "Wait, he could go to cons, and then people are going to pay you money to to write your name on the thing and all that." And I was like, "Yeah." And he was like, "You make good money." I was like, "Yeah, pretty good." Yeah. He's like, "All right, fuck it, I'll do it." <laughs> yeah. All the time. But, <laughs> but you had maintained that's the thing though but you had maintained you know contact with them you know what i mean mm -hmm. it wasn't it wasn't a matter of yeah. you know hey it's I was just at his wedding yes yeah. we maintain contact yeah a lot of contact but yeah yes yeah, and that's different and that's the thing he didn't have you know to the best of my knowledge because i've never heard anybody say oh yeah uh you know ted tom and tim you know yeah th those are my boys you know we hang out you know uh, well yeah. just just real quick too if if and I'll probably make this my my last uh, comment, Jonathan, so you can get someone else on. I need to take some medicine and probably hit the sack anyways. But yeah, no problem. knowing how they filmed the show back the way they did the scheduling, and Chris, obviously you can speak more to this than I could, but they were only on four or five episodes. So yeah. that equals out to what, maybe two or three days on set total? Uh, yeah, that's uh, five episodes. Well, no, it would be a little bit more because the way that Power Rangers was filmed um, I know all the way up from like Mighty Morphin up to, uh, our season was every, we would work five days a week. So Monday mm -hmm. through Friday, and you would work on two or three episodes at a time, um, during those, uh, uh, during those five days. But it, like they, those guys were not all in, they weren't in like five consecutive episodes. No, they were only like, in like a couple scenes for a couple episodes. That's, right. Yeah. So like, I don't even like, like if you put together all of the amount of time that they actually filmed, I mean, maybe a day or two, maybe. Yeah. So there, it's, there's it's no way not that much time. they're going to have any relationship. I mean, even Ted came out and said like, oh, I, I, I barely knew Jason David Frank. You know, I got to know him from his Instagram yeah. videos. So. I mean, that should be context in itself, but um, yeah. as, everyone, as everyone has said, like, I, I really do hope they get help and, you know, I'll pitch the whole, you know, if, if you or someone, you know, has problems, you know, the, the resources that are out there, like 988, um, you know, use them. That doesn't have to be for you. It can be for somebody else. It can be someone you're close to. We've, uh, I've had to use it for someone I was close to in the past. Uh, they can help you on what the next step for you to help somebody is going to be as well. So, um, Jonathan, thanks for doing this, man. This was, yeah. Yeah. No problem, was, man. Thank you for coming on, good. man. Of course. Thank um, you for the questions. Everybody on here, you guys all rock. I appreciate you. Uh, yeah. have yourselves a good one. All right. Yeah, yeah, you're you're good. 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 I'll say, I'd love to talk to you more, Chris. It'd be cool to get to know you. You seem like a cool guy. So, Hey, thanks man. Uh, just hit me up. My socials are all the same. So, cool. uh, but yeah, we'll do it sometime. All right, guys. Have a good one. All right. All get right. better, buddy. Later, man. Cool. Thanks, brother. See you later, man. All right. Later. Yeah, but man, this is some wild shit. You know, getting back to, to to what you were talking about also before about being on the show too, and and that's something I was trying to explain to him as well. He said, you know, why weren't we part of the cast? And I'm like, well, you were more of a reoccurring character. I mean, that's not the same as being on cast. I mean, uh, yeah, Austin was put as cast because he was there for you know, like you said, like 19 episodes. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. During the second half of the of the season, you know, he was added to the cast. Can y'all give me one minute? I gotta step away for one second. I'll be right back. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, man. And but, you know, I'll I'll argue a point to and from about like for and against that, John. Um, 
I'll, I'll, I'll let's go with Arthur Ranford. Uh, okay. He was the Purple Ranger that uh, was, you know, the old guy that morphed once. You know, I went to New Zealand, and that's not a flex. I'm just saying, I went to New Zealand. I went to New Zealand. <laughs> I went to New Zealand. I contacted him. I told him I wanted to meet him. Uh, Tom and I got to have a real nice sit down conversation with him at his house. Super nice guy. Not once did he bring up, you know, I really wish that they would, you know, acknowledge me as the Purple Ranger. That'd be great. You know what I mean? Like, he, yeah. no, like he's done other things in his career. He doesn't care. But at the same time, like me being a Power Rangers fan, I do believe in once a Ranger, always a Ranger. And I wanted to meet him. You know what I mean? But it's not like it had to be forced. You know, it's yeah. a simple like yes or no. Can I, you know, you know, can we meet? Can we talk? Whatever. You know, I mean, I did that with 12 actors over there. And, you know, I was trying to, you know, just just kind of. It was a vacation for me, you know. I was I wanted to, to meet people, like simple as that. Um, but you know, none of them had this chip on their shoulder of you know I should be better, I should be this, I should be that. You know, uh, uh, um, what's his name? Um, Ruben Lang, uh, uh, Ruben Turner, uh, first Apple Ranger. Didn't yeah. say anything about that. You know, I mean, I thought you were about to say Ruben Lang. That's a small boy. I, did, I almost did say that on accident. I love Ruben. Ruben's such a Ruben. great guy, man. I, I didn't get a good guy. Yeah, he's he's yeah he's he's a little other bit, but he's 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 a real he's a real good guy, man. He's 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 great. I love. Him. I met Ruben back when uh, when they were doing um, Lost Galaxy. They brought him in, I think, for that for one of the stuff on it. He's 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 a fantastic guy. I love that guy. Yeah, really good dude. Love him. But uh, I guess we'll take a couple questions from the chat, then we'll go ahead and wrap it up. But, you know, we we should – it would be fun to do – Chris, we should do something yep. like this again sometime soon, man. Should have oh, yeah. It would be good to just Down shoot the it. shit, you know what I mean, and, and talk about Down something <laughs> something else other than this whole fucking – I, would love, to, I would love to too, man, like to be on here just for fun. Yeah, man, we yeah. should do that. We should do it. We should just do another one where you just shoot the shit. Another scene where you just shoot the shit. If you want, because... I'll uh, I'll try to rope in Justin and like, yeah, yeah, know, like Roger or Patrick or somebody else. Yeah, we could have we could have a like... good time, man. Just a, just the chill stream, just just shooting the shit with the fans, man. Because I think honestly, with all the stuff that's happened, I, you know, I'm kind of I, I I know you're super exhausted with all this stuff, Brandon, too, because you've had to hear it every day. So I know you, you probably, your stress level is probably through the roof, roof with all this. And so I, I can't even begin to imagine all the nonsense, you know, but even, but I could kind of get an idea just seeing how exhausting it, it, it's been, you know I mean? For you, um, you know, <coughs> I'm, I'm pretty much, I'm, I'm ready to be done with, with, with it too. Even though, like, like I said, the last stream, we had fun roasting them and stuff like that. But I mean, that, that has its expiration date, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's really just the same stuff over and over again. This shit started Friday night. It is Tuesday. Like <laughs> Tracy, yeah. Tracy well, says she's down. Maybe maybe Martin Luther King Day. Yeah. I mean, think about that. We can't even look, have a dream. And and just and just to make it clear, these and just to make it clear, look, you know, for the people in the chat, you know, yeah, I, I think somebody was saying, hey, just just leave Ted Ted alone at this point. I think that that honestly is the best thing at this point. Don't. Oh, absolutely. You know, they say the squeaky wheel gets grease, and honestly, I mean, just. um He's going to feel how he's going to feel about stuff. And I, I have nothing against him. Like I said, even though I, I had said this before on previous teams, people are going to think like, well, how can you say that when you said this stuff? I was like, easy, because he put it out there. He made it public. I'm like, it's not mm -hmm. personal because I don't mm -hmm. hate the guy. I don't. I have nothing. And I know Brandon doesn't either. And I don't think anybody on this panel does either. Nobody has anything personally against them. But it's just like, no? to me, look, I'm an entertainer. This is what I do. This is my YouTube channel. If you do dumb shit in public and I think it's funny, I'm going to point and laugh at it. <laughs> That's it. Well, that's, that's, honestly, that's all it is. honestly you know? dude you're right like uh, this is the last day i'm going to give any energy to this like i really only came on to respond to the, his comments and you know <laughs> i still have more things to say here but yeah. i you know i'll let you kind of do some questions in the chat too i mean yeah so I mean, we'll we'll uh, chat we'll do about 10 more minutes if you guys want to go ahead and, and get some questions in for anybody here on the panel chris brandon whoever and then we'll go ahead and close out the show for the night i, um, I have a question for chris oh <laughs> Oh, that was quick. No, yeah. So <laughs> was, up, you know, one of the points that we had talked that that was kind of made was the uh, the self promotion piece. As yeah. you know, an actor, when you and you've done plenty of conventions, plenty of events. Okay. I, I'm sure you have seen where you felt like you weren't promoted as much as others, just like they have felt. What have you done? Have you gone live? Have you said, "Hey, come meet me this weekend"? Hey, I'm going to be there. 
have you done the self promotion piece? Oh yeah. In fact, I was. I mean, I was going to do that shit also tonight because I'm going to be at a con this weekend. Do it, do it, so we got gonna, yeah. I, we got a nice gonna, little audience I'm, here. So yeah, this weekend I'm going to be at um, uh, Retromania, um, and uh, it's in Texas. I don't remember what city it's in, but uh, I'm going to be. At, that's the, huh? I think it's San Antonio. Is it okay? I think, well, I think. Uh, well, wherever the hell it is, I don't remember right now, but. Um, it's uh, I I thought it was a different name like New Brunswick or something like that. Um, but I can't remember everything right now. New Brussels, you're right, uh, you're right, you're right. New Brussels, that's it. There it is. Yeah, I'm gonna be there, and Tracy's gonna be there. Roger's gonna be there. Um, Patrick. Patrick's gonna be there. And is is Justin gonna be at that one? Does anybody? Know? I can't even remember Justin. Yeah, the only one, I think the only person not is someone. Okay, New Braunfels. Thank you, Tracy. Tracy just texted me. She Sorry. also said that she wants to come on too. Sorry. Um, yeah, we're all going to be there. Uh, so that's me. That's me doing some self promotion right now. Yeah, if you feel like you have, um, if you feel like you're not getting promoted enough, uh, promoted enough, then open your friggin' mouth and say something. Well, I and mean, invest in yourself. Boost your posts. Yeah. Yeah. Also, yep. don't buy your Instagram followers. Allegedly. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a fact. <laughs> Jesus, I know, I know. You don't go from you don't have three hundred and fifty thousand people join your Instagram uh, channel in. They're up to five hundred thousand now. In they're up to five hundred thousand now. So they are. Um, they're going to be. They so they've already got well more. The the, the triplets. They've already got well more followers on Instagram than all of us on Power Rangers in Space put together. Okay. Right. Really. So yes. Wow, we have more than what hey, Chad, has. that's a travesty. We need to change that. Okay, that's wild. So, uh, John Shear has a question. John, in your call with him yesterday, did he seem more open to your point of view and then flip the script on what you offered as advice? Um, I won't uh, obviously, I'm not going to reveal the details of that call because it was private, and I and and uh, you know, I, I believe in you know, uh, honoring an agreement, uh, among men, you know, what I mean, um, and having integrity there, um. I would say uh, the other thing I'll say is that I would say, yeah, maybe in certain things, yeah, in certain things. Uh, and I'll let you guys, uh, you know, decide what that is based on on the stream itself. I, I would say yes and no, and I'll I'll just kind of leave it at that, but I won't get into any specifics. Um, I think this question is for you, Brandon. Uh, the five day thing. I, I think he's referring to the five day, you know, uh, not bringing down a, a post thing. I guess that he was claiming. So, yeah, let's talk about that. So he's saying that I left it up, all right? Well, it's kind of it's it's kind of a weird thing when you cancel a guest and then re say they're coming or whatever. They, you see how back and forth he goes on this? He was doing that with me with okay, let, I got to rewind a little bit. So, let's talk about the night that he's claiming that I that he fired me for the second time, okay? No. First of all, the first time, like I said, he said he just wasn't going. He's not going to be exclusive with me, which again I said that's fine. I told you from the beginning. I don't. I wasn't asking you for that. But the second time that he fired me, he said after Ranger Stop, we are not working with you again. But he still said he was going to Ranger Stop, and he even said to me, "I, you know, we don't know if we're going." I then talked to Cody. Wait, let me rewind. I said he was. He was. He was getting upset because they weren't being promoted enough. They were cut off on the promo, whatever. I made that 13% off promo with them in it to get them more promotion. Like he asked me to. Like he yelled. Hmm. He, at yeah. First four. He was screaming at me. He was cussing at me and he was not texting me. He never fired me in a text or whatever, but he said, you know, after the show, we're parting ways with you and we're going to go our separate ways. And I said, that's fine. Personally, I was already thinking about doing the same thing because of what happened with Power Morphicon. Yeah. And I really didn't know how to it was I did I, I talked to Ted some, but I talked to Tim too, which by the way, Tim I will go on record and saying Tim DeFilippo has not been a part of any of this. He's going through some personal stuff from what I've been told. And uh, you know, he he does not support what Ted is doing from what I have been told. From what I have been told, Ted, from what I have been told, I'll say it three times. So then when we put that flyer up, it was to get them more promotion, right? So 
yeah, I, I woke up the next morning to I, – I'll even say – I think it was Javier Lopez. He messaged me. He said, oh, man, the triplets canceled. I had another message, I think, from Patrick McGee. I think he said, uh, triplets canceled. I'm like, wait, all right, I'm getting messages back and forth. Like, I didn't know they canceled. And then that's when I went to their Instagram, saw they canceled, and I showed Mikey. I said, I guess they're not coming. And Mike and Mike and I talked about it, and we said, well, we should wait because they, again, are flip-floppers about everything. I shouldn't say say – Ted, when I would talk to him about these things, he was saying, we don't know. We don't know. Cody was even telling me, we don't know. We don't know. Or he doesn't know what they're doing. And mm-hmm. and by the way, Cody's a friend of mine. I've said this before. Uh, I still welcomed him to come to the show after they canceled. He was going to work with Campbell, but then the hurricane ended up uh, canceling his flight. So I just want to say that again. But um, never once did they officially tell me we are canceling. And that's not a lie. I can't prove it because it was a phone call, but I went under the assumption that they were uh, thinking about canceling. And then the the next morning I wake up and I see that they're canceling. And then a couple days later, I get a phone call asking, why are you promoting us uh, and using our likeness and our image? And it might have been five. I don't know. It it might have been five days. Who knows? But um, I I didn't want to hurry and cancel them because I didn't know if they were going to change their minds again. You know, like they they have clearly done that, as you can see, mm-hmm. with their own eyeballs, that they go back and forth on how they feel about things. Uh, I hate you. I'm sorry. I hate you. Whatever. You know, they want to say what they want to say. And so that's how we took it. We were like, well, we were just going to wait it out. Let's see. Because, yes, there, regardless of what he says, there were people that wanted to meet him. There yeah. were a lot of comments on the cancellation that, that they were really upset that they weren't coming. It was another rare ranger that the people weren't able to meet. Yeah. They like the rare, you know, yeah. that's, that's what people like to, you know, I mean, they, they like the big ones, you know, in space, Mighty Morphin, they, they always flock to see them and Hasbro is continuously putting out merchandise for them to sign. So of course they want to see those guys, but they also want to meet the, the rare ones. And they, at the time were the rare ones. They mm-hmm. hadn't done the East coast show. Like he said, that's true. That's a fact. And I wanted fans that were going. There were a lot of fans that didn't go to PMC, but they were going to Ranger Stop, and they were excited to meet them. And I, I feel bad for the fans. I did not tell them that they didn't want them to come. They were the first guests we started talking about. Mikey didn't feel like the 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 budget was there. He already had a plan of what he wanted to do. Wild Force was having their 20th anniversary. You always got to have Mighty Morphin at the show. We were still trying to figure out. Well, we wanted to incorporate the Ninja Turtles, so we already he already had kind of set people and. <laughs> And Comic Cons are usually run by one or two people. They don't have the money to bring in 40 people, 50 people, whatever. And so they end up relying on sponsors. Okay. So he's talking about that thousand dollars. I told him I did not I every time we talked about that money, I said, I'm going to do my best to try to get your money reimbursed for the money that you paid for the flights. Okay. Samuel Benta canceled he canceled both power morph con and ranger stop and sidebar on that it wasn't because of anything that was said online or anything social like that i don't want to go into it it's it's personal matters but he was having a medical issue and he could not travel to the u.s last year so when he canceled we then were going to allocate that money to them i wasn't sure how but i told them that a thousand dollars was going to go back to them in some shape way shape or form I talked to Mikey about it. He wanted to put it toward their hotel. And they also asked me for another room for Cody because he didn't have a room to to stay. And he said, I will get Cody a room within that thousand dollars and I will pay for both of their rooms, but I cannot give them cash value back. And I said, great. I know how this is going to go down with them. I know they're going to take this the wrong way, but I'm going to let them know anyway. And that's what I told them. And he took it as I took a thousand dollars from him, which I didn't. But, you know, when you're running a convention, you have to allocate funds to every little thing. And yeah. we had we had guests that were coming in. Um, you know, there were there were we did have a couple. I, I, I don't want to even say that we there were there were there were other things financially that had to be taken care of. But they mm-hmm. he was going to take that thousand dollars from that sponsor and give it to them for their hotel. Their hotel was going to be covered with that. So. Yeah. I- I was there, man. I was there, you know, for six years. I know, I know the drill, man. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know how it all goes. And that's what I was trying. Real to- quick, Benfield. I have a quick question, just yeah. to follow up <clears throat> with that. So you said that they were getting reimbursed for the flights that they had bought. No, I said that I told them that I will do everything in my power 
to get them their money reimbursed for the flights. I did not know. I don't run the show. I, right. you know, I, I'm the middleman. Right. I, I didn't know how Mikey wanted to do it with, with the money. Like I didn't, I didn't know. Like I just told him, I will talk to Mikey about getting your money back. And, um, sorry, I'm just trying to run through the timeline. When, when Samuel Benza canceled Power Morphicon, I had a feeling with that medical issue that he had that he wasn't going to be able to make it to Ranger Stop either, which is when I started telling the triplets, hey, there might be a window of us being able to get your money back. But from the beginning, we told them that... Uh, no guarantees, had- basically. Yeah, you, yeah you didn't guarantee anything, it sounds like. You exactly. never guaranteed anything. Yeah. And well, the, only reason I, the only reason I'm asking is because, so, the hurricane... Um, Julian, um, that's my best friend in life. We've been friends since we were five. That's my guy. But he came to Ranger Stop with me and the wife. And we all have flights. The flights got canceled. But they immediately offered a refund for the flight. So I guess my question is not more so for you to explain yourself, but more so why didn't they look into that because i'm sure that their flight just like everybody else's going to orlando got canceled and mine did yeah like mine had to tampa to, well, hey dog we had, to, and had to drive all the way down oh dude i've we got you it. beat we had to drive from cincinnati i don't want to hear it <laughs> <laughs> had to drive 14 hours to get there thursday to make sure we had speakers set up and all that like we were <laughs> we we put in work on that drive and then my <laughs> wife got a speeding ticket which for me is growth because i'm usually the one who gets the speeding ticket so <laughs> i i i thoroughly enjoyed that until we had to pay it um but but that's why i was asking that because it's just like if their flights were canceled and they paid for it they should have been offered a refund anyway. So what what's the problem? So Mike 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 says uh, it was sponsorship money for guests that were attending. So it went to other guests that attended. Right, right. and that make and Mikey that makes Which, sense. I'm Which, not I'm, I'm asking not because for clarification from you guys. It's crystal clear, and you guys know, especially with me, it's crystal clear. Yeah. I'm asking just to add another piece to this puzzle, I guess, of this case, if you will. Like their flights had to have been canceled. Their flights originally had to be to MCL. So if that flight was canceled. They should have been offered a refund. At that point, what are we having this discussion about a thousand dollars for? Hmm. They should have gotten their money back if they bought the plane ticket because the flight was canceled. Well, right. I and again, I can't speak to that. I don't know. Maybe they didn't look into it, but I all I know is, you know, like I said, even like you just said, the 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 sponsorship money was going for guests that were there. Right. When they were originally coming there, the the money was the thousand dollars was going to go toward their hotel. Their that that's what it was going to go to. And he was even nice enough to he was even gonna be nice enough to uh, I hope you're okay with me saying this, Mikey. He he was even nice enough to he was gonna take money from that thousand dollars to give Cody a, a room for I think two nights or something. And right. we didn't have to do that. It was At their all. it was their request, but the sponsorship money was going to be allocated to them for their hotels, and that was their choice. So I never promised them cash back in their pockets. I told them I was going to do the best I could, and apparently now they're on their live saying they're going to take legal action against all five of us. So I mean, there's I, I mean, look, look, I, I mean, international. Oh, I mean, look, look, there's no okay. There's like, no a, a legal action against us on the panel here. Yeah, I, okay. I, mean, I don't know. Here, I don't on, know why. I, I don't know what I've done. I mean, hey, but, John, okay. real quick. Um, you can try. If well, here's the thing: they have the, spies. Real quick, well, you can try. You'll fail, but you can well, try. Well, here's the thing. I mean, there's nothing. There's nothing to take legal action over. I mean, none of no. us have, have said anything defamatory. Um, no, that, I, ever, I mean, everything yeah. has just been criticism. Um, you know, and that's it. I mean. Yeah, so nothing I mean, that we've said has been def- defamation, nor has it been liable. Everything has been response to what he has said over the last five days. Or if, so. if, if anything, it's, the only person here that has a case is me for slander. Sorry. But, yeah. Oh, honestly, that's possible, I'm, yeah. I'm on work at the courthouse. I know a ton of lawyers. I will smoke their fucking boots if they try it. Try it. Try it. it. So Joseph, Joseph, I'm not for anybody else, but for DJ Marvel, try me. <laughs> 
<laughs> Joseph Scafidi for five says, not a question, but wanted to say thank you for being big advocates for of mental health. That is a big deal to me. Also, Chris, big fan. Uh, yeah, no problem. Man. Um, and Mike also said they agreed to pay their own flights in 2022, January 2022. I agreed to use Samuel Benson's sponsorship money towards their hotel. If they were attending, they canceled. Yes. So yes. There's there you that. go. And we'll, they we'll canceled go. after I made the promotion. I And they didn't even tell us. Yeah. They told us they were considering canceling. They didn't make it official with me. And the next morning, I, I'm, like I said, I'm getting messages from my friends saying, oh, man, the triple's canceled. And I was like, I didn't know, but now I do. And then Mikey and I decided to wait it out and see if they were going to reconsider or come back. They didn't. It is, it is what it is. So Daniel Pika for two says, Chris, love you, was uh, Red Space Halloween 99 in pre-K. And I feel very, very old now. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so I think I mean, I think Jesus. Thank you, Daniel Pika. We'll we'll go ahead and and, and wrap it here. Thank thank you everyone uh, that joined in the chat. Uh, appreciate each and every one of you. Hope you guys will tune into the next one. Give give a like to this stream. Uh, I'd appreciate it a lot if you could do that. If not, that's cool too. Whatever you do, whatever you want. Um, we'd appreciate each and every one of you joining us. I you know, uh, despite how Ted might feel right now, I I, I appreciate him coming on taking the time to come on. Hopefully uh, things work out for him. I wish him nothing but the best. Um, you know, and I want to thank everybody who who joined this panel here tonight. Appreciate you guys. Uh, stick hey, around. Can I, make I a, go offline. can I make a plug real quick? Yeah, go ahead and plug, man. Plug away. You too, Chris. All right. So, and all and I, yeah. So thank see, you. I'm going to give you guys a real working example of what they should be doing. Mm -hmm. So I'm coming back to Florida May 5th through 7th for HeroCon. Awesome. And that's going down in Fort Myers is going to be at the, uh, I forgot the name of the amphitheater, but it's an awesome amphitheater. Actually, I can tell you right now, but May 5th through 7th, I'm going to be near Fort Myers for HeroCon and it's going to be a blast. We have um, Stan Bush, the guy who uh, did the touch for the Transformers. Yeah, yeah. I know Stan Bush. Yeah. Yeah. So he's going to be doing a live performance Saturday a night songs for that at the amphitheater. Um, yeah. We also have Asada, I think is her name, but she's from, uh, she did some uh, singing in Encanto, in and we're going to have some uh, lip sync battles, and of course, you know, you're going to have your boy running sound uh, on the ones and twos, on the mic. Uh, it's going to be a really fun time. Uh, this is a second year show. They've, they've expanded quite a bit, uh, but yeah, they're, I'm going to be there. Um, I got the okay from the promoter to plug that, so May 5th through 7th. HeroCon. They are at the HeroCon on IG. Take a look at their page. They have some awesome deals going on on single day tickets and weekend passes. And if you guys are in the area, I would love to see and meet and chat with each and every one of you. As he says, let's go, Brandon. Uh, and Ray Maximoff in chat says, I'm not sure who in chat doesn't know, but Chris came and lead this live streams on Twitch three nights a week playing video games, and we'd love to have more people join the chat with us. Yeah, so be sure to – what's what's your uh, Twitch name, Chris, so people could go follow you on there? That's it right there, Chris Kamen Lee. There you go. Oh. So, so follow oh, him on here. It's the Calusa Sound Amphitheater, and the con is at the Calusa Sound Convention Center down mm -hmm. in downtown Fort Myers. Boom shakalaka. And also, you know, uh, guys, be sure to subscribe to Heirloom's channel. Heirloom's going to be doing a video on this whole debacle. And, and yes. I, I don't know what your ETA <laughs> is on it, but I know that you're working on it. Still so, working my way through all the videos. Still, Dude, feel feel free to use any clips from the stream, dude. Mark, I miss you. Feel free. You know what I, I mean? Miss you too, Brendan. Feel free, feel free to use anything from the stream uh, for that video if you want. So, um, I will, yeah, oh, God, so much, uh, yeah. so much stuff to go through. Take your time, bud. Take your time with it. So, uh, we'll go ahead and wrap it there. Uh, guys, guys that are here on the panel, stick around for a sec. Uh, let me get this last one here. Uh, Chris, can you like, uh, you like to come to the Cincinnati Com Comic Expo? Hey, yes, please. I would love to. Yeah, uh, we got to make that happen. Brandon, get it done. City. Get it done from Brandon. Hit up Cincinnati Comic Expo. Get Chris there. Can, so I, can, I say, I can, see him. can I say one last thing? I know we're trying to wrap it up. I just want to say one yeah, last yeah, go thing. Go ahead, buddy. Actually, I want to do two after Brandon. All yeah, right. Yeah. So what, I, what, I, what I want to say is, I, first of all, thank you all for the support. I really appreciate you. I don't feel like I deserve any recognition, good or bad. I just, I'm just here for you. I'm trying to, I'm just trying to 
navigate this thing called life. And I'm just, I'm happy to have a community of people like you that are really amazing. And one, the one thing I want to say about suicide and, and, and mental health is, you know, we have a habit of just, just, and again, I, I, I don't have any, I, I will never say don't ever call a suicide hotline or whatever. If, if you feel that as a, a resource for you, then, then amazing. But also think about your neighbor. Uh, what I want to say about suicide and mental health is we, we can't be advocates of suicide and mental health and post the, that, but then if we see, receive a random phone call from a friend and we ignore it and just text back and say, sup, it could have been somebody that is reaching out to you for help. So what I would say as an advocate for mental health is pick up the phone because you never know what your friend's going through. You never know what your, your family's going through. And, you know, maybe they're annoying and maybe they're like me and they, they call you every day, just want to talk and just, you know, keep up. But if you get a random call from your cousin and you don't know what's going on, pick it up. Or if you get a call from a guy from high school who, or, you know, even just from a, a, a coworker, if you, if you know that they're kind of going through some things, pick up the phone, be there for somebody. Like that's, that's what I would say toward mental health is, is let's try to be there for each other more, you know, like let's, let's try to be in each other's minds more and not try to keep them behind a screen. Like that, that's all I'm going to say. And that's what I want to say. All right, Chris. Oh, like I hope that's okay. Wow. <laughs> Damn, Mike, Brandon, that was really good. Uh, yeah, sorry, go ahead. Uh, it, Mike's to you, man. You said you had oh, something. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, well, out. I mean, I was just going to do a little more promotion, but damn, Brandon, maybe. Do it. Like, now I'm really bad because he's like, that. No. He, says, oh, he, he says something heartfelt and hey, I'll, like really matters. I'll sandwich you know, it. Like, do your promotion. Do <laughs> okay. Um, well, I want to throw it out there again that I am going to be at uh, Retromania uh, this coming weekend. Uh, because Javier just hit me up, uh, Tracy's husband. He was like, hey, promote it again. So fuck you, Javier. Fine, I'm doing it. <laughs> um, so we're going to be at Retromania. Um, and uh, it's in New Braunfels, Texas. And it's uh, 21 and 22. And again, I do usually live stream um, three days of the week uh, at my Twitch channel, Chris Kamen Lee. I usually put up a post on it on my Instagram channel, which I wanted to throw that out there too. And hopefully we can get me as many numbers as the DeFilippo triplets have apparently, because I'd love to have 500,000 followers in 30 days. That'd be, that'd be fucking <laughs> it's awesome. Gotta happen. It's gotta happen, baby. It's gotta uh, happen. Instagram is at Christopher Cayman Lee. So, Are, so you're not on Twitter, dude? I, yeah, I am, but I mean, I don't really use Twitter that much. Just get I'm, on there, man. I'm, get on there, man. Do it, for, do it for me. Do it for Johnny. All right. Well, we'll leave it. <laughs> 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 we'll leave it we'll leave it at that i appreciate right. everyone joining us tonight like i said you know sub for, for for the next one hit the thumbs up appreciate it appreciate all the support thank you for the super chats you all are the stream daddies and the stream mommies tonight <laughs> the people that donated appreciate it it helps a lot and uh, i'll catch you all on the next stream panelists stay tuned stick around for a moment after i end the stream so i so i can talk to you all for a second and look and, and one last thing i'll say if Ted is watching for it, look, Ted, nobody here has anything against you um, personally. Um, I, I I mean this sincerely. I wish you all the best in, in any endeavor. Um, anytime you want to talk, the door is open. Um, and and I think this, Brandon would say the same. Is, is, is that right, Brandon? Whatever, yeah. if, if, you know, he's he's open to it. So wish you all the best, man. Really do. And, um, and get yeah, help. Please get some help. It is okay to not be okay, my brother. Get help. I'm yeah. sending you healing energy. I'm wishing you all the best. Yeah. Um, please stop the rhetoric about you know licensed trained professionals not being of help. And that goes for everybody. It is okay to not be okay. Well, he clarified. He help. said that that wasn't him that said that. That it was his brother, and he 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 excused and and apologized his brother for that. Um, you know, so whoever said it, it is what it is. It's done. Yeah, it's like whoever said it. Just um, don't say it again. It's, it's in the past. Um, but, but honestly, you know, look, like I said, wish, wish you all the best. Even if you're mad at me right now for having Brandon back on for whatever, look, Brandon's my friend. Um, this is my channel. Like I said, I'm an entertainer. I do, I do what I do. Um, and that's, that's just what it is, man. It's, it's not, it's nothing personal. It's not to take a final dig at you or anything like that. Um, really, this is this probably going to be the last time I even, you know, talk about it, you know what I mean? On this channel. Yep. Um, but um, like I said, I'm always open to, to having a discussion with him if he wants to have it. So that door is open. And, and again, there's no hard feelings, uh, at least not on my end. So yep. we'll yeah, leave it at that. You healing energy, man. Yeah. We're sending you, you all, healing energy. Yeah, you all have a fantastic night. Thank you for everyone that joined the stream. We'll catch you all on the next one. Later, guys.
See you later.